Welcome to Spawn Respawn, a weekly podcast dedicated to gaming news, culture, and nostalgia. My name is Dylan Smith, and I'm joined by Mitchell Barnsley. Yo, what up, dog? Elliot Porter. Yeah, g'day, mate. And Kat Jerriton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This week, we're going to start off, as we always do, by talking about the games we've been uh, mashing our little grubby mitts into. Uh, we're also going to be talking about some brand new news in the industry. We've had a Sony State of Play, and we've also had Microsoft come out with an inside Xbox event, showing off the newest stuff for Microsoft and the Xbox platform. But let's kick straight into the games that we've been playing this week. So I'm going to kick it off if that's all right with you, Lord. Let's do it. Yeah, boys. All right. So I have been uh, embarrassingly so. (laughs) I've been jumping (laughs) headfirst straight into Minecraft. Yeah, boys. Yeah. And it's been taking over my freaking life, man. It's it's a pretty impressive... What do you got going on there? Oh, I, don't know. I saw it today. I don't know about that. But he showed you his yeah, was, yeah. He showed yeah. me as well. It's, Whoa! It's, no, now I just feel like it's a boys' club, and I'm not included. It is uh, a boys' club. Took some coaxing. Like, I mean, I wasn't really ready to open up and show him the most personal side of myself, <laughs> which clearly is the world I inhabit in Minecraft. Uh, Mitch kind of got a glimpse. I wouldn't say you saw the whole thing, so I'd say calm yeah, down I on that one. My chair. brain couldn't really comprehend <laughs> the whole world. If I did, I probably would have died. Dylan, but. can I see? Maybe Did later. you want to die? <gasps> Maybe later. Ooh. Yeah, but seriously, holy fuck. Okay, so this whole thing started off by me like playing uh, Minecraft on iOS. Just being like, oh, iOS 13 came out, so and now you can connect an Xbox controller or a PS4 controller. <laughs> so I connected it up and I was like, I don't have any games that's going to work with the controller. Oh, yes, I do. I've got Minecraft. Oh, yeah. So I started like a little derping around on that shit with the, uh, <laughs> with the controller, um, which was like, it was fun. I was like... Getting all my nostalgia back, being like, I remember how many hours I've wasted in this game. Uh, So then I just kept playing it. And then I just kept playing it. And then I just kept playing it. So then I was like, okay, no, I can't keep doing this on the controller. I've got it on the Apple TV, but I'm like, that's even worse. So I I decided, (laughs) let me bite the bullet. I'm going to buy Minecraft for PC again. And I did. So yeah, I've been playing the Bedrock Edition. Bought it on the Windows Store. And it's uh, laden with microtransactions now. Mm. But holy shit, dude. Is it really? It yeah, is. skins and shit. Skins and welds Aww. and textures. Hell and yeah. Just My kind of game. Download your own skin and just pop it in there. Yeah, not the Java the, edition. Yeah, not on the Bedrock edition. Uh, Java is written in C++ and that's why it's all multi-platform. I have the Java yeah. edition. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I can't play with one. you? I'm going to probably... I don't think so. No, no, you can't play. It. Not like you, someone yeah, can't be on the... The new yeah. version and the Java version. Mm. I was thinking uh, like I might buy the Java version again. I've already bought it you ages get ago. get it so cheap though. It, no, it's so cheap. You mean 35 Is Australian it still dollars. 30? F- yeah. Whoa. I swear I got and for like 20 bucks like Minecraft, 10 years ago. And on the Microsoft store it was 40 bucks. So Holy. I know. Just buy but the, like, I bit the gift bullet. card from like How EV? is it not on Game Pass Maybe. for PC? It's not. What? I looked. I definitely looked because I saw it's on Game Pass for Xbox. Good. Maybe when it's out of beta. What What's not oh, in game Oh, Pass. Game Pass. Game Pass. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, yeah. It, maybe. But they're probably making way too much money on it because like, it comes pre-installed on like Windows 10. And then the, the trial version, like I didn't, oh, I swear I didn't version. download it, but like, oh. it's the full game. It's just the trial version of the game. So I ended up buying it through the Microsoft store and I unlock. I don't know what that game. means. What does that mean? That it's the full game, but it's the trial version. What it's the mean? full game, but you get to play it for an hour and a half. Oh, oh right. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. like a time limit. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because now like, it's cool that it's the full thing, especially on the phone and whatnot. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that really got me going. So I was like, fuck it. Let's jump in. Let's play it on the, uh, on the, on the computer. Play it with the ultra wide. It is gorgeous for a little, it is sk- gorgeous. For a little you're like, fucking squares. You're like, I like, can't wait for that RTX to come out. I'm getting that RTX graphics card just for Minecraft. Can't wait to melt me rig with that one. But literally, <laughs> oh, it's going to be so it does good. Look sick, though. It does. The RTX gameplay looks insane. And we have the opportunity at PAX. To record Hopefully. some gameplay and check it out. Oh. Potentially even snag a sneaky little interview. But yeah, what's been cool about this is just noticing the differences. Because mm. back in the day I played it. I played it in alpha back when it was like OG shit. Jesus. And back when it was like super simple. Before back when Villages Notch was and all involved. that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Marcus. What is it? Marcus Pearson? Is that him? Or is that... No, is Bad dude. Weird. That's all- Yiddish man. Yeah. So Bad dude? Like- yeah, okay. I don't, let's not get into that. Yeah. But... Um, <laughs> Dude, so much has changed. Like, not only has, like, the redstone been, like, amped up to 11, where you mm. get all these sick little mechanisms and whatnot and pistons and shit, but the villager system is insane. And, like, I've been building a um, a little villager farm, so I've been getting them to breed, and I've, like, built them a little is prison. This, is this, yeah, it's essentially got them locked in this glass prison. Yeah. Like, farming and mating and 
doing everything for him, and they, and in, they can't like, escape. It's, it's like hilarious. Little kibbutz in there, but it's a non-stop fuck yeah, 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 the, the villagers. villagers. Oh like, my god, he's got them working a... for him, stuck in a glass cage. It's so oh, yeah. funny. I used to you wall like the little program? village in, and the, like just make it safe so nothing could go in there and kill them, and just like so with this visit world, them. <laughs> I had to like I re- like. I generated three new worlds because I was like, I'm going to find the perfect place. <laughs> and it took me three three goes. But when I did it and I walked around, I was like, oh, my God. I found the cross section between like five different biomes. It's actually, I've, yeah, pretty amazing. Like yeah. where you are. It's like, I've, got, I've never seen that. In I've got Minecraft. the snowy mountains at one side. I've got a swamp on the other. I've got a regular forest and I've got like a dark forest with a, the darker. Yeah, like the like. Um, Nobody ever goes there. Yeah, I don't know what it's actually <laughs> called, like woodland or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But it's also on the on just on the crest of a ravine, which is awesome because I can jump straight down into this ravine into some water that I've placed. Yeah, there. water. It's yeah, so and I've got hilarious. a little water elevator that takes me down into my uh, into my mine shaft operation. Mining has become somewhat useless now with a new cave update, which is pretty cool because mm. like you can just walk into caves and find diamonds and find stuff like that. Oh, that's sick. But also with the adventure stuff that they've added, you can find like shipwrecks and inside of it there are chests that have diamond and that have iron and all this shit that's fucking sick so it fully stops you from having to strip mine and go searching for diamonds and you can avoid all that just by finding that shit I I like mining though yeah same that was always like one of my favourite bits was just mining the shit out of everything exactly right but I've been doing this glitch where you can get like you can okay so your Minecraft character takes up two blocks in height right so if you put a bucket of water down and you sprint you start swimming like (laughs) like horizontally so it means that if you take the water away while you're crouched under this block you become uh, you occupy a one block space which means if you just dig straight forward you've got a much higher chance of finding diamond because you can mine very quickly you can move very quickly and you can see all the blocks around you it's hilarious I've just been doing that and I've been finding fucking so much diamonds it's been so good <laughs> but yeah I mean and all of this oh, like with the resurgence of Minecraft I've been like oh this game's for kids like oh I'm so glad I don't play that shit anymore but now I oh. swear you eat your words more than anyone yeah. with games you're like Oh no, nah, that's for kids, or no, nah, that's for meatheads, or fucking no, nah, that's whatever. shit. I don't want to play that ever in my life. Yeah. But I'm extremely um, open about that, and I'm willing to admit yeah. that I was wrong. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I I don't think this game's for kids, considering the fact that you have a um, what should I say, uh, Operation Save Humanity program going on in like a glass cube. Yeah. I wouldn't call yeah. that. I wouldn't call it Save Humanity. It's more like. Enslave humanity. (laughs) (laughs) It started off so shitty with my little village farm, but now I've got them like... I, I came across this ridiculous village that was massive and I was like, there are so many people around. So I had to funnel them into this trap that like drops them down into, yeah, good word. into that room. Uh, trap, all right. Yeah, trap. So, and I've got like nine or 10 villages inside of it that I had to like meticulous go. And then they start fucking each other. And they have nuts. families. Yeah. They're now MIA. They'll have like, more families. There's, there's, there's posters up like, I haven't seen my wife in 20 years. Perhaps she's just getting nailed in a bloody cube. <laughs> the genetic pool you you've got is going to be so small. Yeah, very much so. Because yeah. they're, all, they're all like these one God, this is character sick model dudes. This way. They're all like, nah, nah, nah. That's so weird. Yeah, it's definitely oh, but, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, beyond that, they are my little playthings in that little box. <laughs> Good God. And I've got a little farm underneath it. So the farming villagers can go down and, and mine, like, can uh, they they go and they farm the carrots and then they distribute the food to the other villages? It's pretty cool the way the AI works. But I'm like, it's good. I'm glad wait, I don't wait, have these to same people are getting cubes still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, well, do you have like a little like uh, latch that opens up, allows them to like push out like the cargo, and other people outside the cube can grab it and go on and distribute it's, it's it. It's a little Jesus. self-contained system which they have total freedom within the, the cube I provide <laughs> for them. That's just like real life. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's yeah. about. 20 blocks by 20 blocks. No, it's probably yeah. on that. Look, man, it's just how life be sometimes. It is. And uh, yeah, but my, the, I guess my crux of my little experience there is I've been really enjoying it. Uh, <laughs> I like the power I can exert over these digital villages. And, no. and I like the fact that I'm just <laughs> in between so many biomes because like mm. this, it is cool, everything yeah. is everywhere and it's, it's been very much, it's been a lot of fun. That's yeah. sick. Mm. So that's mm. my take on Minecraft. And nice. also... We need to start a Minecraft server. I want yeah. to, I want all of you people on it, and I yeah, want to. As long as we can do it in that in that area, what, so that what do you get? Because like I can turn it in that world into a realm, yeah. and then we can all connect to the realm. You gotta pay for realms. No, you get thirty days free trial. Thirty days so free. Yeah. Depends on how long we're gonna gone. play. I thought you could just wait. You can back the world up. It doesn't matter about yeah. the world. I thought you could just will. play multiplayer. 
No, you need I don't a realm. understand Minecraft. You need a realm. So what's Wait, you have does to it pay? have cross pay, cross play? Yeah. So I don't know yet. But pretty sure it does. What version is on the Xbox? Just Minecraft. No, no, no. Yeah, it's the, the Xbox same version, version is the C plus plus one. Yeah. So it's, it's the same off. version on everything now. It, you can only get you Java can... on Mac and PC and Linux. Yeah. I, have I have to, to Java buy it again. On Mac, but maybe. I will not. Well, I don't have to buy it. I've got an program. Xbox I can play. I'm cool. sorry. I will not partake in your program. I'm sorry. You don't have to. You can build your own program, dope, man. I'm just not gonna. I don't feel like doing this to people. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Bitch. Funny, morality seems to fade away and when you're in these little cube worlds. You'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll come to understand. I'm going to build the best farm when we're together. That's all. <laughs> I just it. like to make a nice I farm. Love it. Yeah, that's uh, Ten of everything. Uh, that's it. Nah, that's who it. am I I'm kidding? I'm looking forward to it. I really want to play with you guys. I reckon we yeah. could build some really dumb I'll stuff. get them to create it. Especially if we have like, <laughs> fan stuff or at least like can't do I it just, open it to everyone else. If I have it, can I just like join your game? No, you or need... It, and you have to change it to a realm. Realm, yeah. And you have to pay for a realm. Yeah, you get thirty days free. We used to do it, so we it's had dumb. like five, five to like eight people that would play together, and we'd make a realm next month. We'd make a new realm yeah, every right. month. We start again because yeah. <laughs> you get hmm. one free realm. Yeah, right. Yeah. You guys should get it. Honestly, yeah. I, I would really I like kidding? to play with you guys. I'll get it. I'll, I'll get them I'll to create it. a shrine for you on Xbox, in the middle so. of the village, just making this nice overlord. But in seeming reality, you're not. You're evil. Uh, have you already? Do you already have it on your phone? No. No? No. Okay. I'll download it when I get home to the Xbox. Yeah, it's on you Game Pass. So, yeah. You're lucky, oh, bitch. But Fuck actually, as, as I, again, eating my own words, I didn't think I'd be talking about doing this, but I'm excited at the idea of creating a shared world that we can all fuck around in yeah. and build our own little... A little base? Yeah, I never little thought spoon I'd... Spoon spoon a little spoon maze baby. for you guys. Yeah, I can have What's that? Amazing. Gonna build a maze for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Every we, time. We'll build a little digital podcast studio inside of our little Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. I had an obsession with dynamite, so I might need to kick that addiction. Jesus yeah. Christ. In, oh, and away. creative. As soon as I get creative, I'm like, how how big of a hole can I make? Like, that's literally... What kind of cre- What kind of crater can I make in this world? Seriously. Like, go from bedrock can to I, the top of the fucking can planet. I, like, can I implode the core? <laughs> you can try. And it's so weird. On the C++ version, the higher you, you float to the top... It starts to have that lensing effect, so it's like you're like you can see the curvature of the Earth, mm. which is interesting. Holy shit! Yeah, oh my but God. what I'm hoping for the world is isn't flat. I want an update. Like I want to be able to fly into space, and I want to be able to build things that go from you can go no man's space. sky for fuck's hey? sake. You can go into space. There's different like mods and stuff that you can get for it. Yeah, and there's ones where you mods. like go to the moon. Um, there's ones where you raise dinosaurs and all that sort of stuff. There's one thing that I should get the Java version so I can play those mods for free. It's really good. And I what's, don't know why I thought I should buy it on the Microsoft Store. But you should really just get No Man's Sky. What's that other? I've got No Man's Sky. Do you guys know the Minecraft mod where it's like you start in the sky no. on like you get a block of dirt and a tree and you've got to build from there and you've got to build everything. Isn't that the Sky Skyforge, I think, maybe? Something I've like that. I've seen that one actually advertised it's on the market. It's really, really cool and like, yeah. and really hard because you start off with one tree and a block of dirt and you've got to... Yeah. you got to, you got to do. So if anyone's listening to this, please hit us up on at Spawn Respawn PC uh, on Twitter just so you can let us know if you're interested in joining in on a Minecraft server. Do you want to build dumb shit with... And dumb people. Like, please dumb not break my shit. I'll yeah. build you all a maze. You can all yeah. race to and the you know I'm going to like dig my way out of it. Like, <laughs> don't break it, dude. I'm gonna have to break the. Going to build this maze out of obsidian. <laughs> You're going to be like, all right, everyone, down. drop your items. Drop your items. Drop them now. Put them Give in the back. Your fists. Put them in the back. All right. Well, I'm done. So what else? What part. else have you been playing? Oh, oh, fuck. Because <laughs> there's something I believe you and Mitchell have both been playing. I'll. Introduce it Get and your meathead on can take The meathead like Express. Crown And put it on I'm a pretty big Fucking meathead man Jump on the like. meathead express Cause it's coming Alright Call of Duty Black Black Ops Oh my Black god Ops. Call of Duty Modern Far Warfare uh, Beta yes. Alpha Beta 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 Beta, beta. beta male And yeah it was <laughs> You beta ho I fucking Got into it I know that I played The, the 2v2 And wasn't so into it yeah. Damn boy, so I was right into it. What's this got in it? Everything. It's got like all the different uh, game not, modes. Well, it's, it's not everything. everything oh, it, it had a lot. It had, had like TDM and domination. What are the games? Yeah, what are the game modes? TDM domination. It had the cyber, cyber attack. Cyber attack. Cyber yeah. Warfare. What was cyber attack? Just search and destroy. It's search and destroy, but both teams are attacking. And uh, how does search and destroy even work? I've literally search never and destroy played is literally one team attacks and the other team defends. Yeah, so but, you're attacking. But what are you Hang on, let me. 
before you start cutting in, let me finish <laughs> what, my sentence. What are you first, attacking right? and defending? So, what, what? Right what are you attacking and defending? So, I'm getting there. Okay. If you, if you listen Fucking get there quicker. <laughs> Fucking speed up! <laughs> I'd love to if you stop interrupting me. But so basically, no. the attacking team has a bomb on them, right? And the ah, defending yeah. team has a spot that they need to defend. Both the teams, if you're done, if you're dead, you're dead. That's yeah. it. It's 5v5, right? Right. So with so cyber one death attack. Each. Huh? One death. One death. That's yeah. it. And then you wait until either both, either one of the teams are completely annihilated or the, the attacking team's planted the bomb and you've defused the bomb or either, either, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cyber attack, basically both the teams are attacking. So they've both got things to defend, but they've also got to run to where the bomb is on the map and pick up the bomb. Mm. However, so in this really same defending. thing, if you die, you're down. However, you have the ability, if a teammate can come by, they can pick you back up and you can get back mm, in the fight. Cool. Yo, what the fuck? So what he's trying to say cool. is it's a game mode that you'll never play. I'll never play the entire game. Yeah, I'm, I'm not into that game mode. I mean, I've played it once or twice and I was like, it's yeah. cool enough. And I'm sure I'll play it later, but I was... Much more there for the Dom and for the realism. Is Domination the like 20v20? No, no, no. Dom is just regular Dom. Like I'm just a a natural Dom. It's just what happens. You're talking about game modes like I know what they are. Domination. That's the one with the three points, three flags. Right. You go and you you hold the flag and you wait until you capture it. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. (laughs) I'm kidding. Yeah, Yeah, I mean like for someone who's literally never played COD, that like Domination could mean fucking anything. Oh, it's like one of the first fucking game modes. I'm with you, Elliot. Yeah, again, never played COD. Ever? It's called something. Never. I've, what about Battlefield? I've never played it. No, I fucking Halo? hate Halo. You play Halo? Yeah, Dom- it's called Capture the Flag. It's not called Domination. It's not. Right? It's different to Capture the Flag. Yeah, I know, but he's saying, flags. have you played Halo? Is there no Dom in Halo? No. It, it's called King of the Hill, not Capture the Flag. Oh, King, King of the Hill. Well, that's actually the worst. sorry, Ca- King, yeah, King, King of the Hill as well. But like, again, Domination it, three points. There's no Domination in Halo. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, but. Okay, no look, let's not argue the point. But <laughs> I just want clarification to actually what know what you're talking about. Domination <laughs> is my favorite game yeah. in Call of Duty. Yeah. Really? I, I just that's what I like. And uh, what's that? It's 4v4 it's not just about- or 5v5 or 5v5? I don't know. It's, what's general? It's, uh, it's not 5v5. I think it's 10, 10v10. So oh, in domination. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, whatever the regular amount of is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really actually, like not that- even that. I think it's maybe six. Good weapons and shit. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. The dude. weapons are so good. The sounds are incredible. <laughs> the, um, they just felt really I good to use. The reload animations are incredible. Oh, I watched yeah. this They're so good. Man. They went so hard in the reanimation. Like, did you the, watch the video? About, oh, yes, I did. There's like the artist There's, talking about how they handed all of the... They yeah. wrote a the, They handed yeah, all the animation for it. They did Why like the in-betweens they, and stuff. They didn't yeah. just like... Yeah. Why did so, they mocap yeah. that shit? They're so aggressive. I think because they wanted to make them look as good as possible. Yeah. Like, yeah. And they're only short, so they did them by yeah, hand. Yeah, that's them look wild, that good. hey. They're, and they're, they're, like, they're talking about wrestling with the idea of like, do we want to make it as quick as possible? So it's like, it's a quick reload and you're back in the action. Or do you, do you want to enjoy that reload? Do you want to slow well, down you can do both. If you do a rotoscoped animation, you can make it look in a way more believable than in real life because mm. you can exaggerate some things. Like you can make opening something really quick but the snap when it locks re- like you can make it really impactful whereas if you literally mocap that you can't change that and it's sure, just opening yeah. something yeah so right. it adds a lot of like character to your animations which yeah, makes sick. them really unique no nice. my thing's not even That's reloading awesome. mine literally is getting this the only sniper rifle you can use in the game and just like standard just using it standard like you fi- like the you sniper the rifle literally goes when you shoot it, it is so heavy when it fires and then when he goes to like pull the bolt back and put the next round into yeah. the chamber, oh my god! Like you hear the shell hit the ground, and it has a nice ting. And then when he puts the um, bolt back in, it like really cocks it back in, yeah. and you're like, "Ooh, I just fucked you up, dickhead." <laughs> it feels pretty good. And that first sniper you get being the bolt action though, um, it's so it was, fucking OP. It, was, it it's just it was really good. It doesn't yeah. matter. I, I, more often than enough, I rarely had to put a second round into someone. Yeah. I just put run one round into them and it's just dead. It's just up. like I really enjoy it on the PC too with the mouse and keyboard, just yeah. how you can snap around. It is a bit different though without the mini map in terms of being able to locate people who are behind you. But I did find that it very much allowed me to get the drop on you, some people. Wait, like, did you mean in realism mode? No, no, no. I just mean in normal mode because like you get the you get the mini map when you get a UAV, which is like the kill streak that shows you where everyone else is but if you don't have that you just have this like compass that sits at the top of the screen mm, yeah. the little red dots indicating in which direction people are coming from but what I oh, found really? is that like with that if I was getting hit from the back um, you know like it would be hard to see it to turn around but 
what I found that like a lot of times I'd jump in and then people wouldn't know that I'm shooting them. I'd come in and hit them from the back, which means that like the other people didn't see it. So I'd be like, da-dish, 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 and like yeah. get, you know, a three piece or a two piece or something like that. And it was really enjoyable. I really liked that, but Sick. it changed it up a fair bit. No, I'm definitely certain there's a mini map there. There's a mini map when you get the UAVs. No, there's it's always it's always there. Like it's always there. The mini map is always there, depending on what game are you playing. Are you no? Are you 100 percent sure? 100 percent sure. Does it always can, show the enemy map, locations? Though? The mini that map seems is weird. the mini map is there, and if someone fires their gun, yeah. their red dot shows up on the map. When the beta first started, though, that's not how it was, and they did actually change the mini map. If you look into it, I, I promise you this: they did change something around, around the lines of the of the mini map. But currently, right now, it's there. Well, it's not there right now because you can't play it right now. Well, you can't play it right now. You're exactly right. But I, <laughs> I so shut the fuck up and let's get back in it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want. You, you yeah, know, I I just, cause, yeah, okay. But yeah, that's cool. But I, yeah, I mean, I fucking really enjoyed it, especially running around with an SMG on realism because like two shots from the SMG put someone down. Sick. So good. But um, so realism, you choose like when you choose your game mode, you can choose realism or not realism or is realism its own its mode? own mode yeah. okay yeah sick yeah and yeah, right. the weapon customization looked all right it was pretty what did you reckon about it that? was very in depth <coughs> like in terms of oh i guess not really in depth but in fact like i it, on the beta it just shows like you get uh, i don't know if it's the really a beta thing i think it's just the fact that you, you it'll show you certain amount of levels that you've got for your gun to unlock and then once you get to the end it'll show you the next round of unlocks you can get for your gun so I I always had like a vertical grip and if I could, I can get like a standard back. You only have a certain amount of attachment on your gun. You can't have all of them. Yeah, like it cool. might show you you've got heaps of attachment, under barrels, extended mags, a uh, sleight of hand, um, a hybrid scope. You might have a long barrel instead of a short barrel. You might have a muzzle on it. So you can really um, customize the gun a bit more than what you could in the other Call of Duty games. But um I wouldn't say it's... But you can only uh, choose like a couple personal. of them at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Like so a, you might only have six five. attachments. Build yeah, points. Yeah. What's really different is that you can choose perks as attachments now for certain mm. weapons. Oh, okay. So usually you just have your perk layout when you put your custom class together. But in this case, for certain weapons, you might get quick hands, which is of course like the, the fast reload as a perk that's usable as an attachment, if you know what I mean, which Mm. is totally different. I haven't seen that before in any of the other COD games. But what I thought was interesting is like it took him this long to add reloading while you're aiming down sight. It's Lots of cool. games don't do that. Right, yeah. yeah. I know Hardly any like, games do that at all. Yeah. But now yeah. you can do that, which right. I thought was really interesting because especially now that you can like perch and lean and stuff. And I know that's not ah, new. Ah, right. You that's obviously not cool. new be, at all, but that's still, good though. It, you can do that. Yeah, to be fair, it's just leaning on corners. Like you can't just, it's not like Rainbow Six Siege where I can be standing in the middle of the hallway and then just lean left, right. That's like, too it's realistic. It's just, right. it's just oh, when I go up to corners, it you gives me the option to out. like, basically I just mount my gun on the corner yeah. um, and it just makes it a bit harder to hit, which I found so good. Like yeah. more often than enough, if, I, if I'm doing that, I will rarely lose a fight. The only time I'll lose a fight is if I'm terribly shooting. Right. Because um, realistically, the only That's thing it's showing is your go. head. If you what, don't shoot uh, well, you tend to lose. Yeah. <laughs> What's your opinion on um, the whole PlayStation getting yeah, certain game ask, modes for 12 months? Is realism Wait. and survival their different modes? I guess so. Yeah. Well, yeah. survival... Wait, what's the game mode no, that's wait. not is it being... Survival? I don't know if it's survival. survival is the is one... What's the co-op one? Survival that's part is of the, the one that's... Special Ops. Or being special Ops. PlayStation 4 exclusive. Special free. Ops isn't... Is special Ops isn't on. exclusive. That's what oh, everyone it's gets. just that one. And that's like in the original Modern Warfare where yeah. you got the Special Ops missions. But it's, This yeah. is an yeah. aspect of Special Ops. That what's your opinion on that though? Because like the game's cross-play, but there's a fucking game mode that's... Only on PlayStation I think for 12 months. I, think I, think I know what I think about that. It's like, I didn't buy Call of, Like, I'm not going to buy Call of Duty for that mode. So I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm going to play it for sure. all the other stuff that's already there. Sure. That's an extra thing. I can wait because I'll probably be done with the game by then anyway. Mm. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna but it's like 12 it. months later, there's going to be a new card. Like, like why, I just think it's my fucking... My idea is, why is it so... Why does it have to be so exclusive? Why would you... That's the, the whole thing. Money. It's like, Sony... Th- literally, money. I would love to know the the bag of cash that Sony hand to Activision why every time they have to Call of Duty. It used to be the No, I'd love to know how much is in that bag of cash. They, they did it because uh, they took multiplayer out of The Last of Us. <laughs> what? The Last of Us, yeah. Yeah, Last of Us 2 has no multiplayer. So to- <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, they took it out. Yeah. They took oh. out the multiplayer. Who cares? So to balance that, when does you anyone... get the exclusive mode in COD. Apparently baby. a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, but when people talk about The Last of Us, do they really ever go... 
Oh, I really love the they, multiplayer. They said in the comments, the yeah, a lot of people said in the I comments they the loved it. I played the multiplayer on Last of Us yeah, and I enjoyed it. But yeah, like, but yeah. Like for like, 99% of people are like, it's got the best story, single player, blah, blah, blah. Oh, but the multiplayer, bro, that's where it's at. Yeah, you're yeah. right. No one yeah. ever fucking Sony doesn't do fucking multiplayer. Yeah. Anyway, so. all in all but all yeah, I just, think that whole, I just think that whole exclusivity thing with Activision is just fucking stupid. It's like, very stupid. I know I literally have no horse in this race because I, for one, won't be playing... COD at all or yeah. if I was not playing it on PlayStation anyway but and certainly um, not playing Survival it seems way too like, hard yeah. <laughs> but it's like um, Destiny no longer uh, is under Activision yeah. and they're no longer doing any exclusivity stuff with Sony um, but Call of Duty is taking that cake so overall I enjoyed COD did you enjoy COD? yeah I thoroughly enjoyed it are you going to so buy it? I'm going to get it yeah, I'm, nice. without a doubt I've I'm, got people to play with so Hundred percent. Like after uh, after that experience, I'm definitely hundred percent gonna play it because it captured what World War Two did for me, where I was like addicted to it. Where I was like, yep. this is so good. But yeah, cool. That's COD for us. Basically, what else you been playing, Mitch? Uh, Shadow of War. That was a game that I never thought I'd play. I don't know why I just it so much back when it came out. I guess because I had such a bad sort of. Uh, I don't know why I had such a bad sort of experience with the first one, but right. it's because you're right, a salty yeah. boy. Oh, okay. Salty multiplayer boy. Salty multi. Uh, no, I just Salty I just player. tend to get bored Salty with player. single player games usually. Yeah. Like I kind of I I enjoy having someone else there to enjoy the game with. Yeah. Usually brings a whole different perspective to the game. Um, but with this, I don't know. I it, it's like you you all know how I love games where you have like executions in them and cool combo moves kind of come up and stuff like that. So this really much takes the cake on that but the game was just so addictive like i couldn't stop i'd be playing until like almost one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and being going yeah i should probably go to bed <laughs> at yeah. some point but i love those games where yeah. you just like can't put it down though that's so it's so much good and, so satisfying and Definitely. normally so i've finished the game too i might add even after finishing the game normally if i finish a single player game i'll just be like off to the next one like yeah. I, I won't touch it again but I'm still playing it. Even to the fact that I've Breakpoint's betas come out, I played uh, for maybe about an hour and a half and went, I'm bored. I'm going to go play <laughs> Shadow of War again. Sick. And went off and played Shadow of War. Like, it's so good. Like, so in terms of obviously combat, you've also got the idea of um, uh, like uh, loot dropping. So after you might kill some captains or you might do some quests, stuff like that, you'll get some maybe a new sword, might get a new cape and these... All these different things have that like, fucking armor you had in that video. Oh was my god, insane. that armor is so aesthetically pleasing to my eye. <laughs> I cannot, however, spoil a reason. I cannot say why I have yeah, that please. armor. Yeah, um, but you know, once you get to that point, like me, and you have the armor as well, you'll understand why I have it. <laughs> but it's just the, uh, Plus the nemesis system. Is the nemesis system good. is so. <laughs> fucking funny so <laughs> literally like i so i made him my overlord but i'll tell the story again because i know i told you just last week but so i had in this jungle region i had a guy he first first him he was like his armor was like made out of human faces oh god like delicious you could literally see their faces all stitched into the armor Ugh. and i was like yeah, you one sick fuck, aren't you? So I just killed him. I didn't think he was all that cool. Like, cause I didn't really think he was like unique or anything that way. And oh, he took that to heart, I think. Uh, so he came out and he's like, what, you think you got rid of me that easily? <laughs> Grave oh, walker. And I'm like, yeah, no, you meant to be dead. So I'm just going to kill you quickly. So I killed him again. Then he goes, ha I'm back. I'm like, okay, you're really starting to get my fucking nerves here. So <laughs> I, I killed him about maybe five times and he just kept coming back. I'm like, okay, that's it. That's fucking it. So I brainwashed him, made him mine, and took over the fortress, and then I made him my overlord of that region. Yeah, so he was just like, like, well, you're not going to die. Yeah, well, exactly. he can't come back if he's my overlord. So, yeah, that's that I, solves that problem. I feel like he earned it too. Yeah, he's so determination. Good. If if I can't kill him, no one can. Yeah, He's like showing he, up to your shop with his resume every morning. Like. Yeah. <laughs> just won't and did away. he survive the rest of the game? He's not your, dead yet. Overlord, yeah. Yeah, uh, we, he, uh, recently I've, my fort got attacked, so... Um, he survived that and he like by himself. So there was like in the fort when you're either attacking or defending, there'll be like certain amount of key points inside the fortress that you've got to capture. 
He defended the one in front of the like main gate at the back by himself. He didn't <laughs> need me at all. He killed everything that came within like a certain radius of it. I'm like, well, you're doing a good job, aren't you? Look at you, you good boy. And when he eventually does die, I reckon you'll be heartbroken. Too. I'm be gonna like, be heartbroken. We've been through uh, so but much then again, together. then again, he might just come back and be like, "Huh, I'm back, Grave Walker." I'm like, oh, yeah, I know you are, buddy. Just uh, get back up are. on he there. He sounds like more of a Grave Walker than you are. I, fucking... I think he is the Grave Walker. Yeah, does he come me. back with like, if he cut his head off or something? Like, that's does he come I, back with like that's... scars on his neck? No, like, that's how what is I he thought. fucking coming back? That's what I thought. I thought like all the jokes that were made about this game was like. Depending on how they died, they'd come back with like certain like scars on them. Mm. Kind of hard to see though. He doesn't like right. he's covered in like human flesh, so oh, I don't know God. really where. Ugh. Yeah, so fair enough. Sounds but he's, he's unique in that way. It's pretty much the only types of like um, orcs that I'll recruit are generally like unique orc. The captains. ones that wear human yeah. skin. The ones that wear human <laughs> skins, or they're my um, Or there's one that I uh, captured where. So he was normal, right? He was like, he had like some name that like plague something. And I poisoned him plague when Johnson. he died. But then he came back again, but his face was morphed. Like it had, like half of it had melted. Like the skin had fused together. And he got like a new name, like rotten something. And his oh, whole God. flesh was like, came fat and there were maggots coming out of him. And I'm like, I'm like, Hmm, yes, this is aesthetic. I'm going to recruit you. You're going to be my fear, monger. <laughs> Yuck! Yucky. Yeah. He's your scary boy. Can you put He's him in my like a tub of spooky boy. Detergent or some shit? Disgusting. But so it's weird though. He, his weapon wasn't poisoned, but I made his weapon poison then, and then I just had like um, war trolls like follow him everywhere. So he was just like the hardest motherfucker on the field. That's a nice. pretty crazy system, isn't it? It's. Nemesis, so, I right? love it. Yeah. The game is so in depth, graphically <laughs> amazing, and. Yeah. Combat like, looks rad. When I feel I was like the Nemesis, though, the Nemesis system's a story generator because it gives you those unique experiences yeah. that only you'll have in your game. You can yeah. be like, and then then this happened, and this fucking guy came out, and then especially when they all have like Cockney accents and shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's so, so funny. weird. Yeah, you yeah the British accents. <laughs> yeah. You really thought you got rid of me, Grave Walker? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, isn't it? I'm like, uh, shut the. So uh, depending on how the, what voice actor they got, if it's really bad, I'm like, can you actually <coughs> shut the fuck up? Oh, I recru- recently I recruited a singer. He oh, God. sings. Yeah. Oh, wait. His weapon, I think I've seen that in a His in a weapon movie. is a loot. Loot, yeah. But with Bar. an axe and, like, incorporated into the loot. And the entire time he's fighting, he's singing. And about usually what he's doing. So you'll usually be about him decapitating something. Yeah, I've seen a video of that. What a sick <laughs> f- It's so I mean, fucking funny. So I Lord. love it so much. So there you go. A bit of a surprise out of nowhere. Oh, Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of, Shadow Shadow of, of War. War. Shadow of Mordor is the first, first one. Yeah. You're right. Shadow, Shadow of, War. of War. And they took the microtransactions out of it. So finally, that's juicy. It. Yeah, like a nice. year after release, they oh, took cool. them out. Which yeah, it used to have like uh, like um, loot boxes where you could get orcs and shit, and it was like. Oh, yeah. that's so bad. Well, now you have to earn them. Yeah, which is but fucking good. That's how you should do good, it in a single player game. Except for if they're stubborn. Some of them, like, yeah. you got to, like, yeah. recruit them. And they'll go, it'll just say Iron Will down the bottom and they'll, they'll, like, taunt you. And I'm like, cool. Um, Depending on what you are, I'll either kill you or I'll just shame you till you go insane. Generally, I just kill them because it, it's very insulting that they didn't want to be a part of my army. Yeah, nice. I want to. Uh, yeah, I mean, I played it a little bit. Definitely want to check out more of it. Mitch is all about it. But what and about you, Elliot? Game Pass for PC. That is Game yeah, Pass cool. PC. Which, with any game, I think by the looks of it, in Game Pass, you generally get access to everything in the game. So there's two yeah, stories cool. that. Uh, so there's two characters in the. What you shaking your head? No. Oh, like if if, if Not, the game has DLC, you won't get it. Like the Surge. It's some games. Mm. The do Surge has yeah, DLC. Yeah, I was going to say you get like yeah. the little free things, but you don't right. actually get the story DLC or anything. Yeah, okay, because so. Uh, so far everything I've like every game I've gotten it seems to have I have usually have access to everything. Mm. So there's two characters inside the story that have their own quests, like their own storyline you can do, like aside from like yeah. Italians. So in Italians, you can do their quest with them, but they've got their own storyline. But yeah, sick. Sick, sick, nice. Sick. What about you though, Elliot? What have you been getting up to? I finished Greedfall. Oh, nice. uh, spicy, spicy spiders. Uh, <laughs> spicy spiders. It's, they're so hot. It's so, like I loved it. Every minute of it is so so good. Forty-seven hours, I think, I put into it. Mm, um, that's a good amount. 
Um, Not bad. Pretty much did. Dev. Yeah, yeah. Like Focus Home. Uh, like they're killing it this year. Uh, Plague Tale, Greedfall, Surge Two just came out like two days ago. Yeah, true. Um, uh, like what Vampire last year was meant to be really good as well. Oh, that yeah, was, I have that game. Um, it's really cool. That was a good game. I screwed it up though <laughs> in terms of like I you did. I just did main quest. I never did side quests, yeah. so I was actually too weak to fight the last boss. Yeah. Well, when yeah, right. Greedfall, like I did almost every side quest. I found. Another side quest just before I was finishing the game, I unlocked another side quest and I was like, well, I'm not going to fucking do that now. I'm like, I'm like doing the final mission, kind of getting everyone ready for the final mission. I got a new side quest and I was like, nah, fuck that. But I think I did like 95% of the fuck side quest. You. <laughs> um, level 34 when I finished, like super powerful. The ending of the game is fucking bonkers. It's so good. The bosses are mad. You you love it, cat. Like yeah, you, when I get the fucking time yeah. to play, Jesus. Oh, it's that ain't so good. Happen. Like companions, like had a re- like fell in love with one of the one of the companions and had a, like a full Mass Effect style relationship going on. And it's fucking, it's sick. It's fully, it's nice. fucking so much fun. It's oh my right god, up your alley. Too. It's right up my alley. Like it is. You can tell by the amount of F's coming out. Oh fuck <laughs> yeah, and it's it's like. The way you feel about COD is the way I feel about that game. Yeah, but yeah. you... Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Like, see, I'm indifferent to COD, so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, But you've never played like Mass Effect, Dragon Age. I have played Mass Effect and I have played Dragon Age. Not to completion. Which, yeah, 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 yeah. But like, if you haven't played them to completion, you don't care enough. Like, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm not going to make any statements because I've eaten my words enough, as you said. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really... Just never make any more statements. I think it's, it was an, it's an awesome world. Like the, the lore and stuff is really cool. Mm. The native people are really interesting and like, oh, it's just the characters and shit are awesome. So nice. yeah, I'm still working on a review, but um, I'm working on another review for something else. So Green Falls... On the back banner. But man, what a game. Oh, so good. I'm glad that your like your take on it is different to I guess the general conception of the game being like not all that. It's great. janky as fuck. Yeah. Like, oh like it's not the the like the combat or anything. Like I think the combat's probably like one of the less janky parts of it. Um I only realized just before like finishing the game that you can fucking lock on to duck. Oh, no. You I was like, wait, why does it say fucking right stick in the corner? And then when you click on the target, it actually gives you their health and everything. Yeah. Oh. I was like, how did I not fucking notice that <laughs> yeah. through the whole oh, game? Dude, what just at the end it? of the game. Oh, oh my God. I mean, you it didn't really matter at all because I was like, pro gamer. Just like smashing through it. But I played it on normal, so it wasn't exactly hard. But getting towards the end of the game, it was very handy because you fight more bosses and I had to use like more of my uh, bombs and spells and um, it's there's so Abilitas. much you can do, like coating your blade in like uh, poison, poison or fire or, um, you know, stasis. Like so when you cut someone, it like freezes them yeah. and you can fuck them up with the other sword and then when they unfreeze, you fuck them up with the stasis again. The weapons are really cool. All the unique weapons and armor are rad. So, yeah, Kat, I think you really enjoy it. I, I can't like wait to actually talk more. Everything you've said about it has been very exciting yeah. for me. I'm just yeah. an idiot. So The jank, I think, comes from the facial animation. Like, the animations in general. Obviously, the uh, the spelling mistakes in yeah. the... Uh, in the uh, typos. In the shit. typo. Yeah, yeah, the typos in the subtitles. In the localization. Um, and there's a couple of weird things where, like, it's like, it thinks you're the male character. Like right. it'll call you a sir or he or something. <laughs> really? I think it, yeah. It's just a couple of times where it's like, um, yeah, it's just like weird things like that that are like not super, super polished. It's a good looking game though. Like My it's not. a girl too, so I should be able to notice those things. You will. Yeah. It happens a couple of times uh, towards the end of the game that I noticed. Um, but yeah, hugely like if you like RPGs, if you like, Mass Effect, if you like... If you like boning down. Boning down. <laughs> if you like having squad mates and having to choose, you know, who you take on every mission and for that to actually affect 
the outcome of missions and if you like sometimes spiders. if you like spiders, there's no spiders to fight in the game now, oh, which is weird. Dumb. Um, then I think Maybe yeah, there is, you'd you be just see them. Maybe they're in that final cycle. Huge enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I think people would really enjoy it. Yeah, it is janky. It's not a AAA game in any way. Like, it's a budget game. It was only 13 gig download. It's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it was really small. That's I downloaded tiny. it so quick. But the maps are really cool. They're really well made. And it's, yeah, good times. Nice. Dig it. Thick. Huge recommend for RPG people. We'll look forward to the review on mm. Direct Gaming it's on coming. YouTube. That shit's going to be a litty committee. <laughs> I'm going to be all about that. But I'm super happy for the next segment. I'm actually really, really excited. I've been thinking about this all week. Although, oh wait, there, we don't have any other games to go through. Right? Well, no, Kat hasn't been playing anything because she's mm. just been flat out pretty much like keeping us afloat. Yeah, you're welcome. Getting us ready for packs. Yeah, she, massive lord. Absolutely Business killing lord. It. Business, Business lord. lord. <laughs> I just want to play video games. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, you deserve it. So. Oh boy. Absolutely. And I have been playing another game, but I can't talk about it because I'm Embargoed. under embargo. Because you're a... Big Lord a- bloody journalist over here, <laughs> gaming journalist. He's like making it to the top. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Don't step on all your friends on the way down. Mate. Oh, baby. Yeah, remember, remember yeah, I shall remember crush you, you under can you please remember my us? foot. <laughs> when you're like got a bajillion dollars, can you please remember oh, me? Oh, yeah, because there's so much money in games <laughs> journalism. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Can't wait to live below the poverty line. Woo! Brutal. Alrighty, so we actually have <laughs> some super exciting stuff coming up. We have some audience questions. Yes. We've been hit up on the old Twit <laughs> box. So yeah. We've been sent some uh, some pretty some pretty nasty questions. I'm looking can forward to this it? shit. Yes, you can. You go for it. <gasps> Question number one, because we do have two today, but we're gonna split them up a little bit. Question number one is from Gray, and I think at Gray Aussie Gamer on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think, uh, Elliot, you'll probably have the most to say about this one. But the question is, with the recent success of Spider Studios' Greedfall, do you see them moving out of AA and into AAA gaming? I hope so. I can't answer this question. But, it's all you, man. It's pretty much all you. But I, I guess think. like... I, I guess. Have, sorry, I do have one question for that, though. Yeah, what's up? Go for it, yeah. How, how many... Do we, I guess we could probably find out or maybe search it up, but... How many copies did they sell for Greedful? I don't know. I have no idea. You but know, I know Mitch, that's a great question because I, that for I think, me would be the the answer to yeah. it. If if it was very successful and it got like really good ratings, see, maybe it's it's Metacritic is okay. Here's a hot here's a but, hot pick. This is the first thing that I read. Uh, Fifty one hours before release, Greedful is globally the fourth top selling on Steam. So they must have done pretty well. Mm. Yeah, and I think this kind of you'd have to look at this in two things. Like firstly, is Microsoft going to purchase them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause true. if like Microsoft, then this is obviously there's no truth to this. I'm just kind of spitballing an idea here, but like Microsoft have purchased uh, Obsidian, they've purchased in exile. So they clearly have a, a like a, a roster of RPG studios. Mm. If they see this game and think, or even like the history of games and, to be fair, Spider's previous games haven't been as good as this, apparently. Um, and they seem to be improving with every release. If Microsoft are even considering their purchase, or even if Sony want to buy a Western RPG studio, I would doubt it, then maybe. But I think the other thing to think about is like this mid tier double A, I think that's a segment that is like, it's really doing well this year. So yeah. like yeah. Remnant, yes. The Surge 2 is getting yeah. decent reviews. Um, uh, what did I say before? A Plague Tale is amazing. Like it's such a good, it's so good to have that in between between like tiny indie games and frigging AAA. Yeah. And a lot of the AAA stuff is like just, you know, filled with microtransactions yeah. or there's all these you know, all this bullshit going on. Whereas it feels like 505, I mean, they did Control and to me Control's a AAA game, but they're still like a mid-tier publisher right? with essentially a AAA studio. But with the, like, I like that segment of AA games because like, yeah, it'd be awesome if Spider's next game, Greedfall 2 or another IP is, is AAA level. But sometimes AAA just you begin to get into issues like 
Mass Effect Andromeda yeah. or Anthem when these studios Assassin's are getting Creed. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Like, and I mean, at least Assassin's Creed is apparent. Like the new games are good, mm. but still they're it so many microtransactions and there's all this like, you know, just it's blown up out of proportion when this is just like straight up a great single player game. There's no, there's no messing around with a storefront or anything like that. And I think that's a great thing that this is getting bigger and bigger. I feel like uh, from what you've been saying and what I've I've experienced as well, that the only thing that is keeping Greedfall from being a AAA is the budget that they were given because everything else is perfect. Like from what I'm hearing and from what I experienced, it's just that they needed more money to be able to put in uh, the effort for those, you know, facial animations. And Absolutely. Those few yeah. Other little yeah. Things, they so. could throw more money at it and more, yeah, more exactly. team members to make that work. Yeah. But that's yeah. like not their choice. You know, mm. <laughs> like, like mm. that's, they, they can't decide to go to a triple A studio at that point because they need to yeah. get funding. That's uh, exactly. someone else's choice. And those mid tier publishers, like they, they're doing good work. And I think that's, it's, it's almost like, like I paid 80 bucks for Greedfall. So it's not even that cheap. Um, whereas like Remnant was 60 bucks yeah, and that game's played- freaking awesome yeah. and it is again it's budget yeah, it's got limitations but it's such a good game and still, like, all of us still bought it and played it exactly and hopefully yeah. that bodes well for the future of it also Greedfall released like the same day as Gears 5 standard edition yeah. three days before Borderlands 3 like one of the most anticipated games of the year one of the like most anticipated games of the generation, really, yeah. Borderlands, um, and it still seems to be doing okay, like for Greedfall. So that could bode well for the studio. Yeah, there's um there's a website called Steam Spy, I think, and they mm, said yeah. the median hours people play is about twenty of Greedfall thus far. Yeah, which right. is you know is when it's competing with all these other well, that's high it. profile games, people are still finding the time to exactly. To sink yeah, it. I've and bought I was, the game and I've played like an hour and a half, so I'm dragging that median down. <laughs> and and <laughs> I was pumping through it. Like I thought I was near the end of the game, and it's like, oh no, do this, do this. I'm like, oh my god, I wanna like I wanted to finish it as quick as I could, but also experience all the side quests. And when I was like, except for one, yeah, except for one. Um, but when I was doing it, I was like, Oh my God, I just, I want it to end. I don't want like, not because I wasn't enjoying it, but I was like, all right, if I sit down and play, I should be like a couple of hours and I should be at the end. Yeah. No, another five hours, another five yeah. hours. You just wanted like, that man. relief of finishing it. Or at least yeah. Like the closure of completing the experience. Yeah. yeah. But by the time I like the ending, it, it wasn't like it dragged on and on and on. Mm. But it was. You're just on a time like, crunch because you're trying to and do I was, so much stuff at the same everything time. Everything else. Yeah. I feel that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but even then, like when I got the achievement for, well, finishing the game or getting the ending that I got, like 3% of people had that achievement. <gasps> so it's like not many people seem to be, have finished it's it yet. different endings. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You'd, oh. you'd expect yeah, that. Yeah, it's full yeah. like Mass nature. Effect and Dragon cool. Like there That's are really nice. multiple endings. There's like. Of what you do throughout the game affects your ending, but there's like choices right near the end that affect well. the, cool. the very end of the game. Cool. Uh, yeah, you. I think you. Really I'm like excited. It. But I, yeah, I think obviously with technology getting better and better, games are looking better and better. And on like next gen, if they make their next game for next gen, it's going to look brilliant anyway. But is it going to have that budget behind it mm. to be truly triple A? Especially when you're moving into um, <coughs> higher graphics and things, your budget is sinking into like creating assets mm-hmm. that can utilize those features. Totally. Yeah. And therefore the things like the bugs we're seeing, um, the facial animations and like the kind of slidey running yes. um, is going to get potentially worse if you're keeping the same budget. There's yeah. also so. another thing to amongst that as well. Like since you've both played the game, think about it this way. How much better do you think the game would have been with more money? Like where do you see how good the game could have been if it had more That's money? That's a really good question. And I think in like graphically, Heaps. definitely. Not that it's a bad looking game. People are but just like very, enemy types as um, well. Like and like faces of NPCs. Like there yeah, are probably about. I don't like I don't to see so much teeth when I talk to people. Yeah. <laughs> but also like the same face, like the an NPC will have oh, the same yeah. face here and here and here. Yeah. And it's like stuff like that where 
You like, get that in the triple A's as well, though. You do, absolutely. Yeah. At like least you, you'd see less spelling errors if they had more money. Yeah. And I think maybe a bit more of a cohesive map. Like, I think the way they've laid it out, because clearly they had budget limitations on size. Yeah. Each area you go to is like a small, open-ish map. Yeah. I think, but I think that's kind of good because if they had more money, it might just be a big open world and then it's a is pain in the of ass. Like, like Dragon Age Inquisition? Because I haven't got to the map portion of the game. No, I'm still on so the first island. Inquisition so. is like four very large maps in comparison. These are quite small. Well, Inquisition has more than four areas you can go into. Doesn't it have like... There's heaps. There's like the beach and the forest and then like the book has two halves and you can go to different areas and there's desert, there's two desert areas and like then you mm. can go to the cities and like there's heaps of different I guess the open sections. world Is areas Is it like that though. but smaller? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. And like the cities are great and there's like a budget limitation clearly is like where the governors are in each of the cities. That's the same building. Same cities, Like yeah. it looks different I on the outside. That. The cities look entirely different. But when you go to the big building, it looks different on the outside. You walk in and there's a massive staircase going to the right that goes around and there's the governor's... Like, it is exactly the same Look, layout. That's just the way the building codes are, man. <laughs> governor's buildings have to have the staircase on the right. <laughs> but it's just stuff like that, that they clearly couldn't hand design every building like yeah. they could in The Witcher. Like, every bloody house in The Witcher 3 is... Hand, Unique, like, yeah. they've put all the stuff in there on purpose for a reason and, like... Guess we'll have to give it a go then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's definitely those things where it's like they've just reused assets, and that's where the limitations are. Do you are. think this game though will get them enough attention to potentially give them that larger budget? Mm. Well, to be honest, it like I don't know how I've never heard of Spiders because it sounds like their other games are quite similar to this. But just not like not as polished. not quite as good. Technomancer apparently has quite a lot of issues, um, and I, I kind of want to play it now because just to see where they've come from. Yeah. Um, but like people seem to be talking about this game, like yeah. And I don't know if that's like just an echo chamber because I know yeah. about it now. I'm seeing it, and people are talking but about. Like, it. But people said the ratings are bad. I think it's seventy nine. Seventy. Yeah. yeah seventy seven or something. Pretty decent. Like, yeah. That's- that's, that's not good. bad. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Right? People like, just be like, it's not 90. It's people should be a like failure. It, no. But now more than ever, right. they have a chance to become a AAA studio. Mm. I mean, for now, at least if this game sells well, I guess we don't have any solid numbers yet, but yeah. It, and mean, that's hard to get those kind of, yeah. We'll I mean, see, I guess, as with a, the MPDs or whatever. Yeah. Like, but as a developer, they're, they're clearly moving forward. <coughs> I mean, people were doing nothing but bitching about Technomancer. Yeah. So yeah. This is definitely a good step in the right direction. Yeah. yeah. The answer is, we don't know. Yeah. But thanks for the question, Gray. That's so. really, yeah. yeah, that's. Send us another one, you legend. Thanks for sending it through, yeah. Gray. Yeah. And check him out on YouTube as well. Gray Do a Gamer. It. Yeah. Uh, does Gray also have a podcast? Uh, yeah. Two Left Thumbs. Two Left Thumbs. Yeah. Absolutely. Check yeah. him out on Twitter. And uh, um, do they, I'm not sure where they they're host on... their podcast. Is it YouTube? Uh, no, they host on Anchor, but they're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, nice. I think, as well. Yeah. Um, check check him out. Two Left well. Thumbs and Gray, Aussie Gamer. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. We also have some uh, some big news coming from both PlayStation and Microsoft. Mm. So Microsoft. Sony, Microsoft. <laughs> but there was a state of play. <coughs> a short little 20 minute or so state of play that came out the other day. Um, mm. So there's some interesting things that came through there. What are our thoughts? Eh, it was <laughs> it was yeah, short. it was, was average. That Did was you? my kind of thing too. I was like, mm, I where's know. the Batman? I didn't see any Wait, fucking dude, right? Batman. Oh, d- don't where tease was- it if you're not going to show it. Okay, what's the point of that? And where was Batman at all? Like they, we were talking about this earlier, Dylan. Like they haven't they they did that little fucking teaser, and then nothing. Mm. Like what? They just Hello? just that out of an announcement. Like was it shit. just because it was Batman's 80th anniversary or some shit? But uh, they, they would have mentioned it maybe, but like, I guess it had nothing to do with the state of play. It was definitely a big Or Inside Exile. It's so weird. That, yeah. that, that was all like, oh, it's going to be a state of play? Nope. I then, guess we'll find out more about there's that There's nothing later. really... Besides The Last of Us 2, I'm sure we'll get to that because it was the last thing on the... Obviously. Uh yeah. What like arise? All right, that game looks cool. Cat. Yeah, I was talking to you about this earlier. Yeah. I don't know. I, I looked it up, but I cannot confirm. Okay. Um, the the composer of Ori and the Blind. Bl- bl- <sighs> Let me just start that again. After I make sure I got his name right. 
for us. Just quickly, what about that humanity trailer? Okay, yeah, that started the show. That was weird. That was insane. Mm. Was it people fighting people? It was just like thousands of people and, and then falling off oh, shit yeah, and like watching them come together what, like, like really what kind of game is that it, it, like what i don't do know do? but it's i like kind of want to play it or it, yeah like totally like extreme battle 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 exactly. some shit like, like that <laughs> it was so weird and i like i kind of was like oh this is cute this is cool what is this it looked, but interesting. It looked like regular no ass it. people just literally fighting other and just throwing so themselves well. at each other like so yeah. many there was like yeah crazy Oh, well, I mean, I don't see myself purchasing that, but... No. Let's Especially it. if it's PlayStation only. Yeah. Probably yeah, not play it, but... Um, did you find out that guy's name? Yeah, it is Gareth. I just, you know, um, didn't believe in myself. Gareth Coker. Coker. I thought it was okay. Coker. Look, I'm just an idiot all around. But um, <laughs> he does the Ori in the Blind Forest soundtrack. Oh, which is one of the most beautiful things. It's beautiful. Things. I fucking love it. It's like literally one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. Yeah. Um. But when I was watching the Arise trailer, I thought that it sounded very similar. Mm. I was like, is this the same guy? Have you gone to his Twitter or anything? See if he's... I haven't. Oh, uh, man. Thanks. That for... Arise, that looks very cool. It kind of... I don't know what it reminds me of. It's like... You're this little it's, dude in the Yeah, snow. little dude. It little looks very cool. Dude. Just a simple story is its tagline or subtitle. I don't know. Um, published by Techland though, so. Oh yeah. Um, what? There was a COD campaign trailer. There was. Oh, I thought it was pretty good. Oh yeah. The graphics are insane yeah, for, their, for the way they're, they're really handling are. handling human faces and the, the lighting and the animation is crazy. Although, but, did you when you were playing the beta? But don't worry, I won't hang on the beta too long. But I updated my graphics driver, and the fucking graphics for Call of Duty was shit. Really? <laughs> really? It was so fucking bad. Uh, Mitch has me, all the settings. Well, actually, it wasn't just me. Um, you got all one of the other friends I was playing with too. He said they were fucking terrible as well. Really? Yeah. My character's hair was fucking pixels, man. It was. I had f- popping like it started off. You know how it renders bits at a time. Like it would yeah. start like that, but then it would pretty quickly fix itself. Pop. pop. Yeah, Maybe right. it was a graphical bug or something. It was fucking shit ass, man. <laughs> Mine was Gucci. I was like, I was digging it. It just looked nice. Yeah, I just, I was like, you know what? It's probably just the beta. So when it comes out, I'm, I'm sure it'll look like this. Judge it then. Mm. Fuck. But, what else but that on campaign, the cinematic it? trailer, it yeah. I was cool. pretty impressed. It's going to be another one of those like over the top fucking testosterone. Yeah. Buddy oh yeah. Games. But apparently like, that's it's what Call of Duty is, pretty but full on though. If you've me. seen any of the, like the previews and stuff that yeah. people have spoken about, it sounds pretty intense. A lot of morally gray situation. And like, you know, the fucking storyline, like uh, where ghost dies again, I'm going to, I won't be able to, I can't do that. It's going to be I like, do that again. Was that the dog? I think part of it, no, Ghost was the guy with the actual ghost mask on his face. Oh, Shepard, Shepard comes in and goes, do you have the DSM? He's like, yeah. He's like, good. A loose end, fucking done. He just, just fucking guns and both in. Everyone's like, Ghost, Yeah. No. no, I remember that. The one, that was Modern Warfare 2, wasn't it? And like, he's like getting off the helicopter and the yep. general dude yeah, shoots right, him. Yeah. If it happens again, I can't, I can't well, go through it again, in man. This one, I'll just like, crumble this time and I'll just be done for. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you play part of the game as that, um, like Middle Eastern chick. Yeah. Right. Like her brother joins like the rebels or some shit. And this is vaguely remembering from a game informer podcast, but yeah, you play as her like fighting against the rebels. Like they were like terrorists. Like he joins like the terrorist group or some shit. Yeah, and she sounds did. pretty fucking intense. I'm all about it though. I actually really enjoy the COD campaigns. Mm. It's dumb fun for me. It's one of those switch your brain off and just like, you know, you I should, think this one might actually be like, uh, actually like, a decent story. Actually. Like, yeah. Not just a good story, but like, have impact yeah. as well, not just like I've kind of fucking always... set pieces of buildings fucking coming down and planes fucking mm. crashing and shit. I've kind of always loved them, like yeah. especially Black Ops with Victor Reznov. Yeah, and... oh Black Ops is amazing. Oh <laughs> dude, I love it. I, I've I've <laughs> literally played the Call of Duty World War Two campaign like three times. <laughs> really? I know that's one of those things you'd be like, what the what? fuck? Why would you play that more than once? I actually really liked it. Oh okay. I like the character. I kind of like the gameplay. I like the story too. I thought it was good. Like. <laughs> Like depending it on it depends. Like a lot of them usually have good impact on them. Like I remember an NPC in Black Ops that dies in that mission. He doesn't go any <laughs> further. But every time I hear it, I'm like, Sergey, the monster of Megadon. Like 
It's just a game. fucking funny thing with gulags and shit. Like, <laughs> I love it. Gulags. Such a hilarious thing. You need some time in the gulag, mate. Uh, I've, so, been, I've done many hours in gulag with <laughs> my of, of comrades. Put you in the work camp in Siberia, mate. Yeah, they pretty out. much call me the monster Megadon in those gulags. That'll put the hair on your chest. Yeah. <laughs> what else was in the state of play? The next game in state of play was uh, Watam. Uh, From the, which, the creative Kata, Katamari, yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, uh, say Calamari, Katamari, Katamari. Katamari. Oh, so Damacy. Uh, I, right, I just want to put it out there. I put this in my notes because I was giggling. It's like reconnect the people, and you're holding hands with everyone. I was like, my note says, "Is this Death Stranding?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it fully sounds like it. Eh? As soon as you said reconnect the people, I was like. Oop. It's what? like it's a really cute little game though. Um, Katamari is the one where you're like collecting rolling. everything yeah, rolling, as you roll rolling, around. Rolling. Yeah, and your, your balls getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That's so big when I was in high school. I fucking love Katamari, man. I've, I've never played it. Space I've King and all that shit. Yeah, so, so weird. Good. This the music so good. Yeah, it is yeah. really good. Yeah. What's the other game that he did? I can't remember what it's called. I didn't play the other one, but mm. but yeah. So essentially, that's Katamari Death Stranding two. What um. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Jeez, that's quick. Uh, and then Arise, that was that really cute game with the big muscle man walking through the snow. Yeah. But the I, music for that sound looks like it's going to be... Bola. I checked his Twitter. It, he doesn't say anything about yeah. it, so I'm going to assume it's someone else, but that music sounds so similar, so I'm fucking mm. about it, man. It's I'm fuck, about yeah. it. It looks so like one of those games that is going to be like... Yeah, I know, just like... <laughs> My like boy. fucking Ori, that was like oh, oh my god, I cried in that adventure. opening scene. I'm not kidding. I think <laughs> there's some emotions, man. The end of the have you finished it? No. Oh, the ending is so my game beautiful. glitched it's in the, the water section. Oh. So so that was it. That was that, that. was it. I'm done. I'm not. Well, it came out. Man. I'm pretty sure it came out on Switch today. So you can yeah. always buy it on Switch. You can drop another Dude, forty bucks on that game. I can't even <laughs> buy a dinner, man. What do you want me yeah, to buy on the brutal. Switch? Uh, then we had La Noire case files on PSVR. Oh, yeah. I know. That's pretty, pretty funny. Cool. Going to jank the graphics even more to make it work on PSVR, hey? Yeah. I mean, that yeah. game was good looking for its time, though. Oh, right? it was. Like, the well, facial animation, like, tech faces that they used. Good, yeah. yeah, the yeah. faces. I only good. played that, like, recently. Uh, not recently. A few months ago, uh, my mate um, got a whole VR set. Yeah. And, huh? <laughs> Sorry. I was making Continue. a reference to the game. Go on. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my oh God. right. Okay. Because I, I only played it for a little bit, but it was so weird playing it. like Because that was my first time like, experiencing, like, uh, like VR through like Steam or anything like that, and it was so weird. Oh wait, is that what Elaine Noir? Yeah. Oh, is that not? It's already out. Yeah, that's been oh, out. For a while. Yeah, okay, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Like, yeah, right. That's what I was saying. Hear you say VR that one. Well. Yeah. Uh, I'm not wait, tripping, so right? I definitely announce? played it. <coughs> yeah, I'm sure so you what have. did they announce? They announced it coming to PSVR. Oh, oh PSVR. Yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you would have played the good version. Yeah, I did. Like yes. it was steamy. Version. Driving was so weird, but I loved it. Like. Oh, I keep thinking back to Manslayer. Oh my <laughs> god, LA that's North. so funny! I'm like asking this lady questions, and I always ask a rude like, and she's like, "I'm not telling you anything anymore." I'm like, "No, you give your fuck and tell me. And I'm gonna get it out of you." He's so funny Fucking- when he just abuses people yeah. in that game. It's so oh, good, but I it was such a lying. <laughs> <laughs> Cole Phelps, man. Oh, Cole God. Phelps. Yeah, the that, faces in that game. Yeah. <laughs> man, that shit, the, the development of L.A. Noir was a, a crazy tale. There's like a really? doco about it. And the, the guy who was running it, because it was Team Bondi. Yeah. Like, but anyway, I won't go into it now, but I thoroughly recommend checking it out. There was a, uh, I don't know if it was like a no clip documentary or something like that. But anyway. Maybe it was, yeah. Yeah. Then they had like a VR showcase. Um, that punching one where you punch that dude. Boof, boof. A douche, there was blood douche. everywhere. I don't know, but there's like a sneaky, like fucking spy game that it's looked cool, and a douche. space game that I thought looked cool. Um, whatever VR, uh, medieval demo is now out Yay. available. Yeah, get the nostalgia yes. pumping. That game looks shit. Uh, uh, cool. You clearly didn't play it as a kid. Yeah, dude. No, and I'm glad because it's fucking lame. Uh, Civ Six, dude, finally ca- eating words, mate. Yeah, dude, get real. you get better. Real. Like, I'm not gonna eat my words because I'm not gonna play it. Yeah, because you're a small-minded fuck who wants to make yeah, statements man. instead of backing it up. You're not even gonna play it, play it. Yeah, at least Dylan does try to back up his statements. He'll play the game and then he'll just not back it up at all and take it completely back. But he attempts. <laughs> all right, I'll download the fucking demo and turn on my PlayStation for the first time in eight months. I played no, that on PSP. No, won't. no won't. I won't. I Fuck played that, that on PSP and it was the best of times. Was it the 
Anyway, Civ 6 is coming out <laughs> uh, finally for PlayStation, weirdly, I can't on November the 22nd. It's not on there already. Like, Very why, strange. Why did it take yeah, so long? I don't know what? about playing that with a controller. The game's on it. Yeah, I've got it on Switch. But that's, that's a game I'm probably not going to play it. anyway. Like, I, I want to play that game one day on my Switch, but uh, it's I should just, give it a go. I think your Switch battery will run out before you finish the game, you know? Pro- uh, like, before you finish well, the I mean, match. Well, I mean, like. Yeah, I was probably. Saying, Switch magic is not very good. Literally telling Elliot before that I like had a housemate and I lived with him for about six months and I had, like he had a he started the game roughly about the time when he moved in, and he was still playing it by the time he moved out. It's a like the one campaign. It's a haul. Like yeah, yeah. Haul. I just mean that's that's time scale right there. That's crazy. Yeah. One game, like fuck. Yeah. Um, there's a Death Stranding Special Edition PS4 Pro That controller Dude, the controller yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. weird yeah. Cool. See through yellow controller yeah. Oh it's like piss The little baby the, one The BBs The piss color it, controller It's like piss dude <laughs> It's like you Sorry it's not a BB controller It's just the piss, piss The fucking Norman you know what Reedus it's like? is it's like creating you, mushrooms with no. I was gonna say, you know you go to like, mushrooms. You know how you go to like a garage sale and you find like the clear controller, oh, but it's yes, yellowed yes. from age. Yeah. That's what it's like. So they've, all they've done yeah. is create a clear controller and just put it under a fluoro light for the yeah. last twelve months. That is that controller. Just got a few fucking droplets from Hideo Second Kojima. Hand. Yeah, just some skin flakes yeah. on there. Get <laughs> Oh my god. Nasty. So this is um this next is next game is one I'm keen as fuck for, especially after playing Oxen Free After Party. Oh dude, I'm so keen for that yeah. game. So Out drink sick. the devil fucking. It looks yes, so please. sick. It's coming it got a release date finally, October 29th. That's gonna be so good. I'm really, really excited for that. Yeah. Like I'm oh, like so excited. It's on game pass this, too. So. Yeah, this is jumping streams a little bit, but After Party was shown in uh the Inside Xbox Inside Xbox as well. And they and had a they little interview. interview. Oh, 200 characters. characters right That's yeah, what I right. was like Blown away by Oxen Free has like what Six or something Six Yeah Yeah Six Yeah Yeah And that's it Yeah and like all of Like I'm sure they reused Some voice actors Across 200 characters but, Probably yeah But like But they were saying like Everything the they were saying they got, yeah. Oh That's ev- crazy Everything they said In that interview Got me going I'm excited for that game Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah Wait when did you say The release date was though October 29th Ooh, Four days crazy. after Outer Worlds oh, <laughs> Yeah right oh. um, We've got a busy That is so close Fuck uh, yeah, yeah PS Plus for October MLB, MLB The Show <laughs> Yeah, cool. I didn't know that was a PlayStation exclusive. Um, oh, is it? Yeah, it says it on the like on the box, like only on Why PlayStation. Why do they keep putting shitty games on PS Plus? What was the other one? Uh, Last of Us Remastered, yeah. which is not a shitty game. I've already bought that game. Why do they put twice. shitty games on PS Plus? Yeah, like the Last no, seriously, like the last though, of and then us. they only give you two of. Them. Oh, can't. Why'd you say that? <laughs> oh, that's really. <laughs> I mean, you knew first. that was fucking coming, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, and Look, then the big the big dick slap right at the end was The Last of Us Two. Getting a release date, February 21st, 2020. Dylan, you're a big Last of Us boy. I Give feel us like, your- can I, can I I'm interject? I'm the only one who cares. Can I? Because they all you guys <laughs> just keep talking shit I about I told it. you that I love zombie stuff. I just, for whatever reason, I, I don't know. I didn't get pick up much of an interest for it. I might get one for this one. But we'll see. Don't you gotta, you'd say have to I feel like it's 3v1 You right would here. have to be into I'm the first one to, to like the second Dylan, one. Dylan, you know what? Uh, this morning, I know I was late on the ball, guys. Sorry. I watched these this morning, the Inside Xbox and State of Play. And I watched it and I saw Last of Us Remastered and Last of Us 2. And I was like, maybe I should give it another try. Dylan really likes it. I don't maybe want, I'll I'm going to play Last of Us Remastered before number two comes out. I, I didn't promise anything. I said, maybe. Yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> you can maybe have a good time or well, maybe not. let's talk uh, about this trailer. So it was pretty good. Even from someone who doesn't really have a yeah. care of The Last of Us, Dylan. Yeah. yeah, what are your thoughts? I'm gonna be honest. I, I care more about the gameplay than the. See, this the is the funny thing. Stuff. Wow, Nobody so in the world cares more about the gameplay. And I didn't than the story. like the gameplay. That's what Other kept me away from it. Like, I, yeah, me too. I, I did not enjoy the gameplay loop. I I liked the story. Um, I just don't know how you prefer the gameplay. Are the only the person in the world who prefers the uh, gameplay over the story. I mean, I. You don't prefer the gameplay over the story to The Last of Us because you didn't like it. <laughs> you didn't get into it. This one. The, the last one we're talking of about us. right the now. The Last of Us. No, the Last of Us. I know we're talking about The Last of Us. I'm talking about this trailer in particular. No, no, no. But no, I, I want to know why. Uh. Yeah, like, 
out of every, like that's one of the best narratives in the like ever. Mm. That's what people say. But mm-hmm. Dylan I can't attest to that. I but love, that's what they say. I love that. I love that you like it for the gameplay. You're the only. Which one. is like you're the only one in the whole world that is like in the universe. Like I that's just, it. Okay, prefer like, the gameplay. The story is the reason why I remember it so fondly. But for some reason, when I was watching the story trailers, it just wasn't really getting me going. Sure. If you know what I mean. Neither. So what I thought was cool is I really enjoyed the gameplay that they released. And I was like, I want to see more of that. Yeah. Because I know this story is going to be very well crafted. Naughty Dog and known for it. I, th- I thought the first game was a was very much an achievement. The fucking uh, relationship between Ellie and Joel drove that game entirely. And uh, yes, that's really why it is heralded as the game that it is. Yeah. But I was watching the trailers for these new for the Last of Us Two. I wasn't sitting there going like, man, I can't fucking wait to sink my teeth into these fucking cutscenes. If you know what I mean. Right. I wasn't sitting there like jacking it hard, being yeah. like, I can't fucking wait for this. I was kind of like, oh, show me some good shit. And then at, at the very end, when fucking Joel rocks up, I was like, yes, the pass, the pass. Oh, it's just like the first one. It's like they're gonna have fucking Joel and Ellie. Of course they're gonna but have Joel it, and Ellie. Like, but yeah, I, like as far as I've heard from. The, like, people have played it, so people got their hands on it in those two sections of the game. I think that bit with Joel coming back is like later on in the game. Yeah. Um, so I think you're just going to be Ellie through the whole thing. Yeah, right. Like, I don't mm. think Joel is like. It was the biggest bait and switch in the first one when you swap to Ellie. Like, yeah. when Joel gets injured and you become Ellie, and you're like, oh, what the fuck? I'm playing as Ellie. And then she gets like an invincible knife. Well, that's what I was going to say. It's literally what I was about to say. It's apparently because she has a knife already. You don't have to fucking make shivs every five seconds that yeah. break every time you stab Maybe someone. I those rose colored glasses on because that was not a good gameplay element. We had to keep doing that. <laughs> but, yeah. And that, yeah, that was p- like. Part of what really annoyed me. I was like, man, I'm fucking bored of crafting. Huh, look, and I clickers. ran out of fucking. Yeah, yeah I ran out of glass bottles and now I have to fucking. Uh, like somehow get around the clickers without having oh, like there's no fucking Anything. thing to throw. I've got literally nothing. Yeah. I can't go backwards. All I have is clickers. Because yeah. what I really liked about The Last of Us and the reason why I enjoyed it so much is mainly the clutch moments where you've got nothing like that and you end up going loud and you end up fucking like if you can win. But you got like seven fucking bullets. Oh, it's just it bugged me. That yeah, kind of like I like. I like the minuscule aspect of it or the minimal, yes. minimalist aspect of but it. See, you like you survival to... horror in general. Yeah. So that's probably a big, like, determinant. But like, det- the story is the. Uh, this is what's so incongruent for me. Like, I just don't get why I feel this way. But, like, I love the story more, like, most of all. That's number one for me in Last of Us. Right. But I just wasn't getting it from the trailer of the second okay, one. I know sure. I've said that a few times, but yeah. I guess that's why I'm more, leaning more onto the gameplay side of it. Yeah. As a whole package, I'm positive I'm going to enjoy it. I'm sure it's going to be like the masterpiece that I think it's going to be. But what about that lack of multiplayer? Uh, yeah, no one cares. <laughs> You're like, oh, shit. I mean, I played it on the PS3 at the multiplayer and I played it again on the PS4 with the multiplayer. Yeah. But still, you play it for a few matches and then that's it. Like, Do you have a remastered physical edition? I, I do. bought the digital. I have the physical if you um, want to borrow, borrow it. Yeah. Yeah. Add some, like. At the end of the year, when I don't have any games to play, yeah, I, I you'll enjoy it. I, I got. But it. I think I would like enjoy. I know I like the story, but I just don't yeah. like the game play. zombies. Yeah, like, I don't really I like zombie enough. gameplay. Or I like, like the cordyceps. Like, I like the I love, idea behind yeah. what they are. And I, I, that's the thing. You love the idea behind the clickers until you're like, you fucking hate clickers. Like they're the worst. Yeah. I did like in the trailer how it went black and it's like. Yeah, I like, yeah really oh, I hate cool. that fucking yeah. sound, and I'm it, not even like attached you going, to this you game. Like, you like spook around and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I think for those that really pulled me in was the fact that you know, with most zombie games, it's just like it's a, it's like a um, it me, virus. Me, me, yeah, virus, a disease, yeah. and like blah blah blah. This, this was a like a fungus, fungus, yeah. and I was like, yeah. oh. And I think yeah, this really game looks like fucking going. And Have how you it's seen like, the cordyceps ants? Yeah, the real They're like based up. on real life stuff. Like oh, it really yeah, got have. me going. And it's yeah. freaky as fucking fuck. Yeah. I'm like, I hope there is no possible way for this to ever like but, make its way from ants through to animals, then through to fucking humans. But there are other, I will fucking cry. There are other parasites that share the same characteristics mm. as cordyceps, yeah. like those little fucking maggots <laughs> or all those little bugs that get inside those snails that can, can oh my God, control in them. Their you fucking... see the pulsating. Yes. The oh How fucking crazy is this? that? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I love stuff like that. Yeah. Nature is amazing. <sighs> yeah. But finding that a way to make that mud. work, that'd be cool. Like, yeah. But, but yeah. I like, I think in this, it looks like you're fighting humans 
as well, yeah. More, way more it's than like you were. faction, right? Like, you, that it sprung up. Yeah, faction. and they look like they're either are killing that demon. Lynching people in the street. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Because, yeah. I Some sort of, like, quasi-religious cannibalistic aspect to it. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds I'm extra make, bad. I think I'm making the cannibalism thing up. I don't know. That's all right. Let's go with it. I don't really want to eat fungus people. Like, that feels even worse than eating no, regular I'm sure they people. eat the regulars. Enough, you know? The reggies. The yeah. regular. <laughs> they could be them. infected. You don't fucking know. No. Yeah, well. You don't fucking know, man. It's a fucking apocalypse, man. you got to eat what you can eat. It's even true. if it is fungus I guess people. Guess I'm eating fungus. Yeah, <laughs> yum, yum. Um, but Some yeah. mushies. It does look good. I am very much looking forward to it. I'm going to buy it day one, clearly. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Forward to a review. Mm. Oh, yeah. you betcha. Can I just mm. say, like, I got, I got the Last of Us remastered when I bought my PlayStation, and the guy wouldn't even buy it back from me. He's like, that game is worth less than a dollar. He's like, just keep it and sell it to someone else in real life if you know someone who wants it. I was like, what? Whoa. I thought people That's just fucking love that game. Like, I think seller. they just, I think yeah. because it came out with consoles, it was just a flood yeah, of them. Right, but yeah. I was like, <laughs> people just splooge on Naughty Dog. And for good reason, they make great games. Hmm. Yeah. Great, great games that I apparently never play because I haven't played a single Uncharted. Full. But Uncharted's great. Yeah. But yeah. Naughty Dog, good stuff. Yeah. Just make another Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Please. Right. Yeah. Um, Just with carts. Yeah, nice. Uh, the next little thing that we want to talk about there, if that wraps up our state of play, is mm. the uh, inside Xbox. Mm. So definitely a different, like <coughs> shifting gears a bit. Theirs is more like a, almost like a talk show. Like yeah. It's so weird. It's like the on. infomercial only part of a morning breakfast show. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, and, oh, it, there's there's so much cringe and shit. Is, I fucking I love that. Inside Xbox. I don't know. It's, there's something about it that I'm like, I don't know. It's got a good vibe to it. Like yeah, uh, they're super positive. You're so right about the info. <laughs> so bright and so colorful uh, and so put on. Back to you, Phil Spencer. The full freaking cringe factor is insane though. Like the level, like what was that? Um, it was like, <laughs> the, 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 the I'm epic the captain Xbox now. <laughs> gamer who like, who fucking hosts it. He's like, I'm the captain now. Like, get it? It was from a movie. Okay, moving <laughs> on. Yeah. Moving, the amount yeah. of like it's, moving ons and then one of them shaking their head. Uh, <laughs> I was just it's like, hilarious. <laughs> so dumb. I'm really bad with cringe. It makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, I just fucking laugh at like I don't I know. I sink this. into my chair and I usually pull my shirt over my head and cover myself. I physically re- will remove myself from the room if the levels of cringe are getting there. You know what I mean? Like fuck. Not into it. No, I, I agree uh, with that. Well, I'm all about inside Xbox. I love it. It's just so dumb, <laughs> and I love it. What they, they showed off? Uh, what was the Atlas? Was Atlas? First. Yeah, Atlas. Coming Which is game cool. preview in I, October. I did like how they compared it to like the different styles of pirate, which mm. is like a yeah. Weird I mean, like that. talk about like the elephant in the room. It's like. Yeah. Uh, don't you have Xbox's own fucking pirate game? But Dude. there's a lot of differences. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The visual style being one of them, and the, I guess yeah. you can do a and hell the fact of a lot that more. It's a survival game yeah. as well. Yeah, Seems you can do a lot. Really, more. really cool. I'm, mm. I'm actually What's it called pretty again? excited. Atlas, Atlas, Atlas right? Yeah. And it's been out for like a what a year or more? Almost than that a year. On PC? It came out like it got announced at the Game Awards last year right. for PC, and then it came out like around Christmas as a freaking skin of pretty uh, much a skin of Ark. Ark, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not my type of game, but fair. Enough. <coughs> um, so you say that, but you hooked on Minecraft. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe we should get not a ship together. Statement. There was a lot yeah, maybe. in Inside Xbox, so we're gonna skip through a bit of shit. Children of Mortar is coming out on Dude, October 15th. That it game looks, looks really cool. fucking amazing. That's already on PC. Yeah, it's been out for a while. Get it? it look, it's, I probably knew that, but I've just been so poor. I've been avoiding like, yeah. everything. Uh, poor hack and slash, in money and time. Hack and slash, roguelite. Family weird Family thing. thing. It's apparently brilliant. Yeah. Every, like everything I've heard Compares is like. Compares each different beautiful. family member. Yeah. And, and they're like, all a different class. Yeah. And when you yeah. go through the level, you get extra perks and stuff. It's not like. A permanent perk? I think it's like a perk. Yeah, per something like that. Yeah, yeah, I don't really know. Nice. But Interesting. And there's no One like penalty on channel. death. It's kind of like yeah. remnant. Like when you die, you don't lose everything. Yeah. That's good. But you come back, you can play as someone else and then you come back and you can keep all your levels. And I think shit. it's, they said and you, you can, can switch co-op. characters between dungeons. So I don't know yeah. if you die, if you can choose a different character. No, if, yeah. If you die, you go back to the house and then you can oh, choose a different cool. character. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad you know. <laughs> yeah. I've watched a couple of reviews on it. It looks beautiful. It um, does. It's stunning. I'm, I'm going to review it for Xbox, I think. Yeah, nice. xCloud is getting signups. Huge hype. Not for, for us. No, yeah. US, UK and Korea. Um, 
with Halo 5, Gears 5, Sea of Thieves and Killer Instinct coming first. Yeah, right. Pretty cool. Sea Killer Thieves, Instinct. that Wasn't other that pirate the... one that they're... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The one that they're not talking about. Yeah, Killer Instinct is... Uh... It was like a launch title for the freaking Xbox One. Yeah. 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 And it's been it's been expanded upon heaps. Oh, no doubt. Like it, When it first dropped, it was like, you get three characters and yeah. then you can buy the rest. It was like the, ori- um, like the Xbox One's original game as a service. Sort of yeah. Thing. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, that's coming to those countries. Lucky places. Lucky, lucky. <coughs> uh, starting November, which did you point out? That's the same month as uh, Stadia, as Stadia yeah. which yeah. is funny. Which is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Just shit on Google's little uh, attempt to yeah. break into the gaming industry. And they're starting with Android phones. Yes, only. Android only. Ugh. Need the Can wireless well, Xbox ex- controller yeah. to yeah. do it, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, let's let's watch that shit grow and hopefully... We don't get Stadia or XCloud, so fuck it. Yeah, we can watch from I mean, afar. I'm not surprised. Um, and they said console, console streaming is coming soon and they're going to nice. talk about that. Probably at XO19. Yeah. I'm it's very excited. It's almost surprising given that Australia is the test nation for so much shit, but it, um, it comes but down to our terrible internet. <laughs> they probably horrendous. would have loved to test that shit on us if only yeah. we had a reliable yeah. network. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it works over mobile as well, so at least we got that over here. But If yeah. you want us to test us, send help, please. <laughs> yeah, we need... A few hundred like, kilometers of fiber optic cable <laughs> yeah, <please>. everywhere. <laughs> a few hundred. A few thousand, sorry. Um, a few hundred thousand. Code Vein came out today. That There was a trailer there. Isn't that... Anime... Like, anime Vampire... Anime Vampire vampires. Dark Souls. Da- yeah. yeah. Uh, Wait, Anime Vampire? Anime Dark Souls. Vampire you Dark Souls. No, there's going to be some... <laughs> Apparently it's... Um, <laughs> not very good. Really? Oh, yeah. Dick. That's um, unfortunate. I was listening to the Game Informer show and they gave it a 6.5. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, that's rough. Wait, wait. I'm not shedding tears. There has to be... It's a vampire anime. There has to be big titties in there. Yeah, I'm sure there is. It's Yeah. It, it's still got a six? 6.5 6. on titties alone. Yeah. Damn it. If fucking big titties made like a good game, then like Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball would be like the masterpiece. It is. It's true. <laughs> it is probably 100%. About? <laughs> go play a dating sim, bro. Like, <laughs> jump on yeah, fucking... Yeah, go jump on fucking... And turn off like the adult on. filter and you'll be, you'll be surprised. What's that new one? The fucking KFC dating sim? Oh, yeah, get on that. Finger licking good Finger licking good dating sim. That's just Sanders, man. That's, you know... Dating the Colonel. All right. Let's uh, Hell yeah. Then there was an interview with the senior narrative designer for The Outer Worlds. I didn't get her name, but yeah, it was an awesome. It was a really small interview. It was, but it was awesome. She talked about the mandibular rearranger. Yes! And apparently, so there's science weapons in the game. So yeah. if you have a high science or intelligence level, uh, I'm you going can use for these. It. Um, totally. Yeah. Because the shrink ray looks hilarious. Yeah. And it shrinks everyone down. But apparently the mandibular rearranger just rearranges Messes people's up your faces. Face. <laughs> oh, no. So, like, like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so you become like a fucking Pablo Picasso. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm all about this fucking oh, game. Oh, I, like, the trailer and everything as well that they were showing mm. was so good. I that know it's so stuff funny. we've seen before, yeah. but it's so yeah. funny. Yeah. It looks like such a good package. And oh, that, being on Game Pass, I'm so keen to jump in with you guys. I'm Dude. so excited for that game. It, that's going to be one of those games. Showing off the like, different worlds and they're like, this world day. is polished and it's got like the decrepit signs and all yeah. that shit falling down. And I was yeah, like, like, I love it. Yeah. Oh, so, so good. good. It's so good. It's that's going to be huge. I can already see it's going to be like a massive fucking... I'm really, really excited. Oh, Let's get into it. It's going to be so funny. Like, I love that humor that they're going with. Like, yes. what you're saying there. Like, it's off the cuff. Like, yeah, yeah, like, when they're talking about Monarch at the end of the Monarch bit, it, it's like, Monarch is currently under renovations. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like, like all oh fucked up and overgrown. And I love it huge so animals. much. Oh, so keen. It's going to be so fun. Nice. And I, again, it's like, not, it's not going to be huge. It's like, they've made it very clear that this game is like, quite, Contained. Contained. It's not like 100 hours and a right. huge open world. It's like quite um, dense, driven, like dense and yeah, like lots to do and lots to customize the way mm. you play, but not massive, overblown yeah. with bullshit. So I'm so fucking keen Fuck for yeah. that game. And we're I'm really excited. Looking forward to it. Uh, Gears 5, over the next six months, we're getting four new characters, new maps, new modes, 400 customization options. 400. Uh, and they talked about Batista as well. And that's the, they had the monster, was it monster energy drink? Um, oh yeah. Like the tie in thing tie-in, where you yeah. get like a week of game pass for free with your monster, with your monster yeah. energy drink. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if we get them over here. I don't know. 
know. And the artist was like a pretty big artist that did mm. the cans as well. Like, yeah. Monsters but, showing up in Death Stranding too. Oh, no. Jesus, they're really fuck hitting the video game market. Can we get some V out there? Like I'm just rep glad those not in the Southern game. Hemisphere brands. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we get Monster. I know, but I'm saying you should put V in things. Yeah, like, yeah. Because it's delicious. Uh, Lego Speed Champions Xbox bundles. No one really cares. No. I care about that. I, I mean, I actually, they that. Could, that could be like cheap Xbox One X over Black Friday. Uh, Minecon, <laughs> September 28th. It's going to be streamed. <laughs> Shut up. I don't want to hear it. about the dedicated <laughs> No, wham. you're going to be like <laughs> right in there wham. with your Minecraft hard on. Well, just like, how, excuse me. <laughs> how much dedicated wham do I need for my caribor? Like, fuck. Oh, dear. Tropico 6 is coming out September 27th. Up, that cool. is today. Nice. It's out. Uh, there was a really cool trailer for Breakpoint with John Bernthal um, talking about like, um, his his role in the game that was cool, but I love the dude so much. He's badass, and, and they were showing course. like they had um like uh, ex marines or something to show them like how they would move, yeah, and yeah, like really how they would cool. hold their guns and when oh, they were yeah. doing all the like the mocap and everything like that. So it's like super realistic the way they have like captured everything. Yeah, nice. Um, so they get it kind of right. That was cool. The um. The beta's on right now, as it you is, would know, Mitchell. It is, it is up. Huge new trailer for Hitman 2 DLC called Haven. Yeah. That looks cool. Yes, that was um, sick. One of the voice actors has been in Archer, and I was like, <laughs> who is that? And I, yeah, it's a dude who was in Archer for one episode. Yeah, right. Uh, but that DLC looks really cool. Agent 47 so awesome. I love Hitman. And I've never played Hitman, but like, I. I think I would really love it. I went back and played the Hitman, like the the remake. Yeah, that they did. Um, I guess the the one before this one. Really, really good. Really, really. Do you really good. have two? No. Oh, okay, cool. Apparently, if you buy two, all the levels from number one play in it. So right. they've got like little improvements and stuff like that, and they're like embedded into the game. Like that's cool. Like it's in the menu and everything. You go to like episode or part yeah. one or whatever. It's like how you could play all the levels from Left 4 Dead <coughs> One and Left 4 Dead Two. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's really yeah. interesting because they were like, they were like new season, new like parts for Hitman, and then they were like Hitman Two, and I was like, I was yeah. really confused when they first. Yeah. Well, they did like, like they the, fuck fuck the first doing? one. They did through episodic. Yeah, yeah like, I know. And then the second one, everyone. they were like, nah. Yeah, but they were like, like the way they announced Hitman 2 was like a continuation, but then they were, then they were like, they're like, there's going to be more as you continue the story, blah, 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 blah. Hitman 2. And yeah. everyone was like, wait, what? But I've, what? Well, I think <laughs> it's partly because they got like sold. Well, they got dropped by Squeenix. Yeah. So they're independent now. Yeah. So they that like, makes sense. they kind of had to like, well, they, they made a new game, I yeah. think, because of that. And this um, is going to be the last thing for Hitman 2 as well. Is that what they said? I, yeah. I'm pretty sure yeah. they said that. Yeah. I mean, there's a documentary that was from Noclip. Oh, that's such that a was good. Amazing. Yeah. Going into like interviewing the guys at IO Interactive, talking about the decision behind the episodic release. It's um, amazing how well Square Enix treated them as well when they were like dropped by them. Yeah. Apparently, like they made sure they still had their health insurance for like, you know, however long and they were still like treated with huge respect which yeah. i like That's really gotta cool. admire square enix for that because that. you would think oh, a lot of in the no time that i have it is such a good long in, great and design. there's a few different episodes yeah like there's a few chunks of it yeah. chunks of it and it, it's really cool really such cool. a Talking great about, like, dude the simulation behind those levels oh my yeah. god like there's AI. so much going into just yeah. like this little area where you just have one thing to do or multiple things to yeah. do. And there's all these moving parts where it's like, it's if you disrupt wild. one part of that, it's going to fuck something else up yeah. and like it can change the entire and experience. And game developers are, they're like, I swear they're on another level. Mm. Like what goes on in their head. However hard you think it is to make a game, it's probably 10 times harder. Fucking. <laughs> Especially when you see their computers and it's like in that Hitman one where there's like all the arrows of like where like all the objects can go and where she get like the target goes. Yeah. I was just like, that is bonkers. And then you hear uh-huh. us complaining about games as well. Like, <laughs> yeah. Imagine being a developer. It should have this instead of that. Like, <laughs> that can't be too hard to do, can it? Exactly. Make it yourself, <laughs> asshole. Yeah, I had no a, uh, a friend that had a world record at a point for doing one of the levels, like one of the objectives wow. in the levels. He'd just speed run it over and over. That's and he's sick. Like, doosh, 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 and he got it like under five minutes sort of thing. Like, yeah, right. I don't that's know amazing. how that is now, but that's like, there's so many different options. I really like to watch people play it. I, don't I think I will one of these days play it. 
one so of the, many games. So many games. God damn play. backlog. I really liked, uh, especially um, in the inside Xbox, where they're like, our goal is to make sure your backlog never runs out. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, fuck you. Uh, fuck you, <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> I'm already there. That's such a good goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we had Felix the Reaper. Mm. Did you see that? I thought you were. What like a that. good trailer. Oh a my romantic- God, I'm so excited for How that. How funny was that developer? And like, there'd be like someone behind a computer and he'd be like, he does, he makes people move. Yeah, he's and like, like, he codes so you don't have to. And it got like deeper and deeper and deeper. It was fucking so weird. They deep fried it a little bit. <laughs> Felix, but, um, Felix the Reaper is a romantic comedy about death. I know. I, like, the way they explained it and they're like, oh, it's like, like I really like the, the it's a puzzle game kind of. With shadows, uh, like the sh- yeah, with shadows. Yeah, but each level you have to kill someone. Yeah, but like, it's like a story and it's like it's hap- happy that you kill them. Yeah. And um, it's really, that was a, he dances all the time. Yeah. And they're like, his chubby Whoa. body, it makes you happy when they dance together. <laughs> oh <my laughs> That's God. Like, I would yeah. highly recommend looking at the trailer, like it's that whole really se- good. section. And he's got like, his goal is to dance with Betty or something? Yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wants to meet an, uh, someone called Betty or whatever their name yeah. is and dance with them. But he's so fucking cute. And he's cute. not, yeah, like <laughs> typical looking like death, like um, he's Grim Reaper. He's got some headphones like, on. Yeah. He's like... Bow, Cute little bow, mask bow, on. Bow, 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 bow. It's, so, it's such a weird <laughs> little suit. thought. He's very tailored. It's beautiful. Oh, it looks and so cool. And that comes out on October the 17th. Yeah, it's very, so very close. Very soon. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm really... I actually really, really loved that trailer and like... Um, like the the studio. I love look I love seeing behind really the curtain. Cool. Yeah, that style so, looks great. It does. It's really cool. And I um, love puzzle games. <laughs> there was an Ace Combat Seven DLC. Meh. Don't really care. It's already out apparently. Um, after party again uh, with an interview with Sean Crankle. Again, I believe his name was. I'm so fucking keen for that game. So, and if if. I'm guessing you two haven't played Oxen Free. No. Highly recommend. Take three hours out of your life. I've got to finish it. It's, <laughs> I just oh, yeah, got yeah. stuck the way through. I would highly recommend playing that before After Party because I guess it would be a cool way, way to see how the studio has grown. Yeah. Because, yeah. man, After Party, the artwork and everything. Looks everything so about it is beautiful. So, I'm so about it. Oh, and all nice. the different districts apparently like are connected to the River Sticks. So... You're not just in one place in hell. Like there's all yeah. different yeah, areas. Yeah, what did they say? Like there's an area that's like designed like Shibuya and then you've yeah. got other areas designed like, I can't remember any of the other places that yeah, he said. I but um, I think one was Amsterdam. Maybe, yeah. right. Cool. So, like, Oh man, it just sounds so cool. And like the humans that are being tortured in hell are essentially interacting with the demons. Like it's not just the demons in hell and then the humans are being tortured somewhere else. Like, they're all mingling with each other. It's like their day other. job. Like oh, when you right. arrive at hell, you get given a demon and their job is to torch you and they torch you nine to five and then at the end of the day, everyone goes drinking. Like, yeah. oh and like the humans the, and the demons. <laughs> and the different alcohols you can choose to drink will affect actually your, options. your conversational options. Like, yeah, like you could, what they explained, the option they gave was like uh, drinks act like potions. Yes. Um, and so one they had was it'll make you talk like a pirate and give you like yeah. pirate-based options oh, for your God. conversation. Dialogue, like oh, fuck it's yes, gonna be so cool. I'm Heart so excited. Xbox, inside Xbox, <laughs> yeah, very, very much. much so, from start to finish. Uh, and then there's an expansion for DayZ coming. Nice, Livonia. I fully didn't. Livonia. Liv- I watched it, but I was like, Livonia. Okay, Livonia. I learned yeah. nothing from this. <laughs> uh, and then they spoke about XO19. Um, that's happening in November, so that's like the big fan event. Mm. Um, there's going to be some. Cool shit shown there. It's in London this year. Nice. Big dogs, Phil Spencer and Matt Booty are going to be there. Matt, Matt Booty. Booty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was so perfectly in time. <laughs> um, and hopefully we, I don't know, hopefully we see like a new game or something there. Because like Dude, by the time I that's on. I want to just see what the initiative's doing. That's what yeah, I want. I Fuck what the other up? studios. No, kidding. I'd love to see what they're doing too. But the what? initiative. Because like yeah, Gears on. just came out. Outer Worlds, obviously, it's not published by them, but Microsoft are pushing it like yeah. it is. Uh, that's going to be out before XO19. So, what are they? What's next? You know, Wasteland Three, maybe. But I assume they're going to announce something interesting. Hopefully, a new studio acquisition. Hopefully, talk about maybe more Bleeding Edge. I don't know, but can I? Um, it's pretty exciting. Just mention something that I completely forgot about The Last of Us. Mm. I thought it was really interesting 
that just like The Last of Us 1, they release it right at the end of the console life yeah. cycle. Yeah. Um, which I then assume will, like The Last of Us was sold um, with in PlayStation 4 bundles, it'll probably be sold in PlayStation 5 bundles. So it's just going to get, then it's going to get the remaster and it's just going to boost those sales through the roof. Mm. And I wonder if that was like a super tactical decision to be like, the probably. sales get bumped so hard by mm. that. Like, you just get to buy it again. Yeah, yeah everyone yeah. buys it twice because yeah. they're like, gotta, gotta get those graphics. I fucking bought it twice, didn't I? I, I was target number one, apparently. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because that kind of sets the stage for Ghost of Tsushima to be a launch title now, yeah. right? Yes, like, it does. I'm super excited for that. Because what else even is there? Like, after, like, Death so we've, Stranding we've, we've had yeah. Days Gone, Death Stranding, Last of Us, and then Ghost. PlayStation game- 5 bundle is going to be Death Stranding, Last of Us, and, like, some sort of Ghost is going to be my fill up for Nick Sekiro. Like, yeah. it'll be my little fill up until I get the second game, one right, that absolutely. comes out. Oh my god, I'm gonna finger. Surprised we haven't heard of Sekiro yeah. DLC yet. Fuck. I'm still hanging well, out for that shit. Yeah, especially with Elden Ring coming out. Like, what's going on there? I'm, I'm, I'm toasting yeah. on that. Game I'm awards? sure we'll find out more as we'll we go. Out. But we're gonna have yeah. to wrap this episode up very, very soon. But we're gonna have to just answer our final question from uh, Static Oz on Twitter. And guys, we're gonna keep these answers as short as possible. This is so good. Okay? Can I read it again? No. Oh, okay. Oh. Go on then. <laughs> Alrighty. So Static Oz at Static Oz um, comes out with Fuck One, Marry One, Kill One, Borderlands 3, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. Take it away. Easy. I would fuck Borderlands 3 because uh, it's a game that I can see myself getting into. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so I would fuck Borderlands 3 because I feel like it's, you know, it's a little bit rough and tumble it's a bit quick and dirty you know jump in there there's a lot to see in a short amount of time i can get in there have some fun and get the fuck out of there if you know what i mean and i'd definitely definitely kill uh ghost recon breakpoint for mm. sure i just think that like um not a lot going on at home you know like not very ambitious or motivated I just, wow, I just wow just kill it i just don't really think that like it's really worth my time or if i got invested in it i'd be disappointed so it's like no nah, i'm gonna kill that one <laughs> and i'm definitely i think i'd marry uh destiny 2 shadow keep because i really feel as if destiny's in it for the Long haul, you know what I mean? Like, this is a that, game as a service. That's what I mean. I mean you know, like it just it'd stay service. around, and like you know, it would change and ebb and flow <laughs> with me as I develop and mature as a person. So I just feel as if that that's the situation. And yeah, yeah, that's my that's my nice. answer. What about you? I think kill Destiny Two. Whoa! Fuck that game. That's your wife. See you later. It's dead now. No, that's right. I'll Destiny Two Shadow Keep. Should I say? Uh, I guess fuck Ghost Recon. And I guess, like, you because... you kill Borderland? No, no he's gonna marry. marry Borderlands. Oh, I married. fucking love that shit. Of course you're going to marry Borderlands. Oh, what can, a surprise. But can, oh, my, yeah. can my fuck Ghost Recon be like, fuck Ghost Recon? Fuck it. No, like, no, no you got to stick your dick in. No. Nope. You have to fuck oh, yeah, I'll put my penis be... inside John Berthold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You leave That's him fair. alone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you corrupt him, you dirty boy. Mitchell, what do you reckon? Dirty ape. Uh, I'm actually going to... Kill Borderlands. Yeah, I knew that was. I'm gonna going. kill Borderlands because, yep, just I've, I've had enough of it. I guess didn't really find much interest in the third one. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to marry Destiny Two because, like Dylan said, I very much agree with him. That it's just sort of a long haul there, and I'm just gonna fuck uh, Breakpoint because you know what? It's it's gonna be that you know that crazy one that comes by in your life. And you have a real good time with it, and then. Yeah, then they take it. all your money. <laughs> they take all your, it takes all your money. And you never hear from it again. Yeah. <laughs> Sad story. But I had a fun time while it was around. Yeah. Well, there you go. What about you, Kat? Oh, I think uh, I'm exactly the same as you, Dylan. I would kill the fuck out of Ghost Recon. I do not need that shit in my life. Just stab it. Piss the fuck times. off. Um, and I would definitely fuck Borderlands 3. I still want to play that, but, you know, I'm poor AF. And oh, whatever, I still whatever. haven't fucking... And I would definitely marry Destiny 2 Shadow Kate because I love Destiny. Not that I've played it in the longest time because I'm poor and I'm not I'm a huge not fan of their payment system for yeah, their DLCs. As am I. But if I marry them and I just get access anyway, hey, then true. I'm all about it. There you go, a little hidden benefit to mm. that. Marrying that shit. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Our well, assets are shared. Well, thank you so much to Gray and to Static Oz for sending us some questions on Twitter. Um, if you haven't caught the drift, I reckon you guys listening right now should do so as well. Hit, hit us up. up on Twitter at 
spawn respawn PC. We want to hear your gnarly, nasty, n- negative questions that are coming on through. <laughs> I had to think of another word. Uh, yes. <laughs> Alrighty. I'd like some positive questions too, though. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that. Yeah, in I love Gray. Like, I love both those questions actually. But um, yeah, Gray, that was beautiful discussion. Absolutely. Give me that shit. So thanks, and hit us up on that shit. But guys, this was episode twenty Ooh. of Spawn Respawn. Can we, you believe it? I, I I can hardly believe it. Um, we hit twenty. We did it. Twenty. We did it. Beat the We're share twenty. As old as you are, man. Yeah. Absolutely, like not <laughs> oh, too far off. Fuck. Brutal. We've almost done this um, enough weeks to be half a year, you know. Mm. Wow, we like we're so close. It's well, been more than, yeah. like we're we've, more than half a year. We've done it for more than half yeah. a year, but in terms of weekly, yeah, yeah, mm. it's good shit. Mm. Mm. Absolutely, let's go. Oh. But don't worry, the fun will not stop here. You're going to hear us next week. We're going to be coming straight back to you, and the week after, I believe, it we're going packed. to pack. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to have way too much content, yeah. to even. We'll have a lot Consume. of juicy shit for you guys to uh, to sink your teeth into in mm. the coming weeks. But for be sure. prepared because we're going to ramp it up another notch. Bucks, thank you so much for listening to episode 20 of Spawn Respawn. My name is Dylan Smith. And you can find me on Twitter at CitizenSmith14. I'm also joined by... Uh, Mitchell Barnes. You'll probably find me balls deep in Breakpoint uh, or otherwise in the uh, comment section. Oh, not the comment section. The link below for Twitter. <laughs> Beautiful. I am Elliot Porter. You can... Check me out on Twitter at Direct Gaming and YouTube.com slash Direct Gaming. Links below. Yeah, and you can find me as Cap Caddy on Twitter. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the podcast around. Share the love. I mean, of course you want to give it to your friends. You mean spread us like a disease, baby. Yeah, do it. Alrighty. Episode 20 is done, and this is Spawn Respawn. Out. So, peace.